just trying to see if we've got a ref, just see if I um, can give a shout out. But I actually don't think there is a ref for this one. T-minus four minutes to kick off. It's Tom Barley against George Tierney live from Showman Sports Bar in Scunthorpe, the home of Lincolnshire County Blackball team. Recently the most successful county team going. I did try and get some uh, stats about that, but it's so hard finding pump stats. It's ridiculous. There'd just be a website, wouldn't you, where you can just type in a Lincolnshire <laughs> County Pool team and have all the information well, there. Just a general, general general one, to be fair. Well, at this point, to those listening on Facebook and YouTube, we say good night and enjoy the scoreboard. If you want to listen and watch to all the action, the pay per view is available at typplayer.com. There's a link in the description on the chat box and in the pinned comments. Simple £5 to watch it. And you get all the action. And you get to watch it back. I what I'd say as well, Sam. £5. But it matter how much pull you're going to have. Bargain. Yeah, certainly. So, you guys are going to like. Let's say good night to those on Facebook and YouTube. And hello to everyone on the pay per view. Goes to uh, Mr. Turney there. I do think we are in for a treat of uh, great dishes with best dishes. I think it's going to be such a high standard game that we're going to witness here this evening in uh, Sherman in uh, Scunthorpe. First break of the match. George Turner. We are away. Obviously, £40,000, over £40,000 £40, to the winner of this evening's game. Yeah, and a pot increase of 11000 since initial. Decisions. So after George coming in dry there, it looks like Tom's going to have a first nibble at this first room. Yeah, we do look good. Um, just look at that one on the top right. Looks like that's probably the uh, difficult one. In this rack. in the intro um, myself and Sam being here all day at Sherman's in Scunthorpe and some of the um, comments that I've heard about Tom is um, is a fan favourite to the people in Scunthorpe tonight I did have myself have to put an angle through that guy it looks like he has it's a tight one who's got Side. Big pocket, new tables, new cloth, should I say? Not new table, new cloth. Drops this one in bottom right. That's pretty much. Oh. 
soft drag. No, it's gonna be a little bit of side. A little bit of side, just throw it around the bed. Yep, there you go. Oh, yeah. Ooh. Claim your free boiler grant from RileyHeat.co.uk. One of the sponsors of Showman's Sports Bar and the sponsor of this match. So, George, with a chance in the first frame. Two. Tricky lads. Like for the average, you know. Sorry, that's what I was going to say. <laughs> a, bit, a bit like what we were saying in the intro as well, obviously, yeah. Josh had a, a warm game, should we say, last night. Um, and I'd say the second half of that warm game, George played extremely well. So he's aware of the table, the pace, the cushions. Um, let's see how he does it. You can just bring this back behind that bed. There's nothing stupid here. A little bit more work than what he wanted, but. Pro could probably uh, knock the black out just to stop the white in its track. That's what he tried doing. He did. Instead, he's left a very, very long skill shot. He's going for a There's no ref in this one as well. That's just getting even more apparent. Shock. Yeah, I was surprised as well, Sam, that um, for a part of this side to have no ref. Hmm. But the black into the middle for the first frame. So first blood for Tom. Like obviously this game is going to take several hours and I think it's getting quite loud in there now. Um, I think by 8, 9, 10 o'clock tonight this place is going to be rocking. And there's going to be some atmosphere later on. Well, I'm sure that's what Collie's opening was hoping for, shouldn't he? Well, I reckon there's a few more shandies go down. I think um, it could be quite entertaining there tonight. 
Not just the ball, but the crowd as well. Two rats down for Tom on his first break of tonight. And them reds look delicious. Skill shot. Oh, unlucky. I know he's tried getting that one out there. I just think he'll just come down and see the double to middle. Smith going for it again. Yeah. Great shot. That is a quality shot. That is quality. Great dish of the night. Just Tom Barlett and two quick fire friends. It's minus three to nil. Oh, I will say, I love that shot there where it was over the bag. It comes down into the black, black into the one over the pocket. What, what a skill shot that is. It started like uh, a bull in a china shop. Is, um, he looks up for it tonight, doesn't he? He looks up for it, Tom. Yeah, that's 41 gram. I'll do it for that thing. <laughs> <laughs> so, George and his first breaker uh, came up right. Uh, let's see how he does. Who's so second there? Uh, break of this match. to uh, put it down the rail and then come off the cushion and just develop that awkward red. Nah, even clever. It's not the red, not the red up in there. Found the George in a very awkward situation. They're happy that the uh, music's allowed to be on because not bad music choice so far. Yeah, for the Brent 182, I think this one, isn't it? Yeah. I mean, the music, the crowd, I do think, in a couple of hours, it's going to feel like a Saturday night watching a, a huge money match I wonder if I go and put a request in for Westlake if they'll play that for me or not. Don't know about Westlake, mate. <laughs> mm. 
because I don't want anything going up towards them uh, right from the top right of the corner, right of the table. That's it, nice and delicate. That's what I mean, it started going up there, then you saw how soft that was. George, well, I want to get that first frame on the board, and um, until you actually get that first one, you just uh, pull up the log and you can just drag. As soon as you get it, you just settle down a little bit. Is the wife just gonna he wants to go up the table? Will you leave himself distance or will he come off the top? Because I think he'll just roll it in, won't he? And leave himself a bit of a, a longer shot on that last yellow. I will get my head into this frame. I'm just kind of tracking and he's such a fast player when he's moving. Uh, yeah, I'll be looking yellow into it. Oh, he's just gonna stun it in. I screwed it off, roughly. Yeah, you used a bit of a blocker. <laughs> could, have, could have done with just being off cushion a little bit more. It's made it a little bit tricky, you know. As you can see, that black has got a decent pocket top right. Shame we'll, will we be able to fall it in, possibly. No. His elbow's covering it. So black. The first one. There we go. There we go. I will say a massive big up to George M. Obviously, we're in Scum Fork, Tom's um, it's his own club. Obviously, a lot of support here from today. And George made me smile as he walked in with just one of his mates. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> very flying solo. Very flying solo. I didn't say that to you, though. I know you did, but I still think he's going to rock up with a couple of people, his, uh, his crew or something. But then he just rocks up with his mate who's just sat, sat next to him there in the blue top. And that's it. Let's, let's get set in and. Uh, that's how the evening goes. I will have to just, you know, just got a few masks yet. I will try and well, I'll be multitasking. So by the way, thanks to everyone that's messaging saying it looks great, brilliant, that's awesome. Um. And obviously, yeah, uh, look at the pace of the player there. Tom's a bit more quicker, quicker. George has been very methodical at the early, early part of this game. Um, I was watching him last night in his warm up game, and he was, he was, um, Especially the second half of the game, free flowing. I think tonight is uh, 
person on the table, you look at Tommy, he's uh, he's on one. And this one just drift down a little bit back to the middle. I was listening uh, you you like this one about Peter Drury, obviously he's just joined Sky Sports anyway, run about the silence sometimes. So we are live from Showman's in Scunthorpe. Home of Lincolnshire Blackburn Pool. And tonight, the home of Tom Barley against George Tierney for £41,000. Tom trailing minus two to one. In a race to 30. Yeah. Sorry, I'll, I'll have you on. You've been muted me, Sam. I do have to say that what a lovely venue it is. Well, it's the first time I've been to it today. And uh, you know what? Being meant, be meant to feel mega welcome. Um, it's a lovely little setup here in Scunthorpe. Um, I look forward to coming back maybe in the future. It's, uh, it's a nice little pool, though. A shake of the head. A shake of the head from George. By the way, hello to his family that are watching in Dublin. I'll actually be in Dublin in a few weeks for a snooker shootout at Rahini United Football Club. What a gorgeous city Dublin is. You know, so I've never been Sam, but um, I have watched. Uh, I have watched George's matches um, when he built play back home in Ireland, and I tell you, some of the crowd that he gets and the banter and the noise. Um, I certainly want to play him in Dublin. So there was, I know Lee Harrison's watching at home in his pit. Uh, if you are listening still, uh, just send us a message on what your thoughts were the venue. I know you went, but unfortunately can't make it tonight. Cue ball. Ouch. Ouch. I'm looking at.
a little uh, trickle back into middle to uh, minus man. two to two. That was weird saying that. Well, to be honest, I, I was um, surprised to see Tom start at minus start to get that one when um, I looked at that. But again, that just shows the. Uh, the level of ability, confidence that, that Thomas had in his game. Well, it's very split in the polls that I put out during the week. Um, I'll just see if we can go back. There we go. 48% to 52% in favour of George. It's neither here or there. May, may as well just be 50 it, it, It's on the fence. However, if you go by that, we might see a, a 30 29 or a 30 28, you know, some of that. Something very close. Very close. That's a bit One yellow right. down, and an absolute cluster. The planetist way of putting it. Yeah. Obviously they have a lot better with a white spin there on the tail than me, but both look rather round are difficult. I knew I should have hired someone who's technical support. Join the stream back at home, obviously, on YouTube. Just bang us a, bang us a message, and we'll, um, we'll do what we can to uh, get it fixed at our end. I think it's all these just people that are just going on the wrong link. Hello, everyone that's watching, by the way. Yeah, I've just read your message, Haribo. That image is getting put up on the stream during the break.
I'm guessing I've not missed much. It seems a bit of a slow frame, does this one? Yeah. It was on what? So. Well, what happened was all, all the balls kind of like dropped to each other. You, yeah. You're miles away from your mic. No one can hear you. Sorry, pal. I'm just there saying that, that on the break, all the balls are blocking each other and end up one of those situations where neither could really go for it. But what I did say as well, Sam, is they've got a lot better spins with a weight than what I have, so they can develop stuff that I wouldn't <laughs> even think about. Um, Just like that one. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> Prime example on the dot there, George, with that one, mate. That's a nice little shot. But it's still tricky, there, isn't it? Like, you can maybe go here top right and then try and move some again. Off on the tail there. Just very close up in there. A bit tight, let's see. Uh, actually, you may go into that yellow. And you'd love to get that one on the top rail. No, it's going to work. Watching that's currently at work, watching this, and just going for a message that I've had. You can switch it over to your laptop or whatever, it's just one login at a time. That's all. You know what I'd say as well if you want to go in the comments now, obviously, really good time to uh, try and put your final score predictions in there. Um, obviously, we may have a look back at the end of the game, see who closest to. Will it be tight? Will it be runaway? What's your thoughts on this game? I think it's going to be tight. But then, also, I always lose at the bucket, so maybe my advice is the best. Balls up there at the top end of the table. Yeah, it does go. Oh, actually, a nice defensive shot there from Tom. Like I said, that top end of the table, it's, uh, it might just be a little while while they uh, try and just get this one sorted. Like I said, we'll look in the chat in a couple of minutes' time, see what people's predictions are. Are you going for a Tom win? Are you going for a George win? Is it going to be tight? Will it be a runaway? Let us know what you're thinking.
here we go again. Just want to play it down, maybe use that black to our behind if you can. Right. A little game of cat and mouse at the moment. A little nudgy nudge, nudge nudge. Oh, saying that, I, I, I watched the uh, John Rogers warm up game last night, and a lot of things that you thought was going to sit over the pockets did fall in. Let's see what happens here. Can you pop this into middle and try and uh, disturb the party? Let's have a look. Good effort. Don't really help there. I'm just gonna maybe go push them first and try and knock that yellow out of the way a little bit. Yeah, something a bit like that, but equally now there's N2. Little plank going on, you can maybe swing round and uh, squeeze that yellow now, pass that red, which will um, get him his shot on the black. I'm oh, going for it now. I like that, better way than what I saw. See which way he the bottom cushion to try and uh, put the one over the bag. George, that these two reds and the black have felt like a little bit of a steal to him there with uh, Tom just running out of position now. What do we just make sure of his work gets up, has a little look. George will be happy with that for him. Bit, bit, bit of a steal, really. There, I thought Tom was really unlucky when he um, when he put the one into the uh, top right. Came back, Red came back with him and snooked him behind it. Well, it's that still a fair frame, uh, as it was at the start, really. Minus two players there, uh, three. Well, that ball stuck or something. Yeah, that was actually a nice light as well when I watched the, uh, oh, the thing. It? Yeah. Oh, I just thought it was doing it for like, some monkey. Amazing. Yeah, it was doing it again last night. Look, he's uh, having to do it again. He's firing some balls into them top bags. Yeah, but it, this sounds really stupid to say, but are you sure they're just not in the tray? <laughs> like, tucked into the corners? I've had that. Which way people have come up to me. There's no balls here. And uh, it's stuck in the corner. Yeah, like I said, it was happy last night. How like you say this music in here? It's a bit of a disco, isn't it? A bit of a disco tap. Yeah, it's, it's enjoyable, isn't it? It's, it's, a, it's a Saturday night, that's what it is. 
Going out after it, I'm going out after it, Sam. Well, your missus said not to mention about kebabs or anything, but, you know. <laughs> Sam, you're going Again, we hope you're all enjoying the stream. If there's any issue, technical issue, please just drop us a message and we will do our best there to isn't. identify it. There isn't. No issues? There isn't. Fantastic. Fantastic. By the way, most of them are people that aren't actually watching yet, so, you know, I <laughs> mention it, but those that are watching are watching. Those that are watching are watching. Yeah, yeah exactly. There you go. It's like I'm trying to get Andy Sanderson logged in. He's, he's struggling, boss. I can see my fares and I pull captain uh, <laughs> trying to log in and uh, he's, he's, he's typing away, isn't he? <laughs> he's, just, <laughs> he's tried it that many times. The system's blocked him for spamming the server. <laughs> By the way, have I, have I got score right? I have, haven't well, I? Well, I, I, I ain't going to slag Andy off because I'll be dropped on fares and I ain't Sam, you know? <laughs> yeah, you won't be. Uh, scores correct, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm assuming so. I'm just trying to multitask you. I can't see uh, Sorry, if no, it I'll goes anywhere, but Wait, he's looking what? now. Might go middle, by the way, he's looking out. Oh, that one. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. nah, I wanted to move in the circuit. Good shot, John. I'm going to do a bit of walking and try and see if I can get anyone to uh, commentate with you. Just while I'm trying to nail down these camera angles. I am rubbish at multitasking. Well, that's one good thing you've been here. So you had a technical guru. I'm just going to sit here for the evening. I'll watch a good game of all. I'm thinking there, where can I put this weight so I'll uh, make the black as easy as possible? It's now minus two. Where's minus, the ball? Minus two to four. We've been going for approximately 40 minutes, 41 minutes. It's a race to 30. Look at this room. Makes it quite interesting with that uh, with the red and the yellow bottom left, but uh the way they move this white around, like I've said previously, uh we found some angle to spin and uh disturb. So that's the difference between average, good and elite, you know, the uh 
that, that white ball and what they can do with it. thinking there, maybe put the yellow pushing first under the red. Let's have a look. Be interested to see what Tom does here. Um, obviously he's got the one bottom left, but he's also got a little cluster just next to the left middle. So a couple of couple of little puzzles to work out here for Tom as he uh, goes attacking these reds. Well that was the shot that I thought he may have attempted, trying to clear both yellows out off that red. So I'm going to get Sam to have a, a quick check of the chat in a minute, see what some of your, your score predictions are. It's very quiet on chat, mate. I keep looking. Yeah, it's just been nice for someone to uh, <laughs> put their neck out and see what they think it's going to be. Yeah, sometimes I think I'm maybe not the best, best person to comment on Paul because every time they do a good shot, I'm like a bit in awe really because they're the type of shots I can't do, you know. Nothing wrong with that. Some of the uh, Lynx masters and senior players have just come in. Well, familiar when faces are coming in now. Like I said, what we're now, quarter to six. I can see this place by eight, nine o'clock, just uh, being electric, actually. Uh, it's filling up nicely. There you go, George just needs to uh, just avoid, uh, avoid these reds on his way back down. One cushion. And he's there. Minus two to five. To five? Minus two. V five. I know, I can't wait to get rid of that minus two and just have, let's see. Uh... <laughs> um, for anyone wondering, there isn't any scheduled breaks or anything like that. It's, as George said in his words, when George wants to. Who said that? George. <laughs> George Smart, so it was... Uh, Like I said, there's a, a couple of surprises. Um, obviously, they don't get to, uh, to come to any money, money matches, but like you say, breaks, we just have them when George wants to, and, <laughs> and, 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 and no, re no referee when you play for 40 Oh, uh, well, oops, sorry, that was a bit loud. Um, that is quite, I suppose you could say, quite rare in the fact that it's been done like that. What, no ref, or? Yeah, no ref, yeah. He's struggling to have these time.
Hawkins in again. I think every three months now with how I went through with the break happened, you can see them little off the parts of the table, you're thinking a little bit of work just needs doing in that area. Yeah, there's, there's certainly not been any absolute monster breaks uh, where it's been just... Well, there was the one with Tom Barley's, I think it was his first break. I think that one was probably the only one that was clear-cut break dish material. The rest, the rest of them to have yeah. work. Open my to it. I'm trying to think now what it does with that bottom left part of the table. It's not red under the black and the one just above the yellow side. See what he does. Daniela. The reason why will be these cluster of yellows in the middle do create a chance to break into them. The cluster on the left hand side. Let's see if one of uses to uh, do this there. He has got another bonnet to it, yeah. Mm. Andy Sanderson as uh, his time has passed where he's unblocked again now. Yeah. Uh, no. No. <laughs> there you go, that's the deep developed shot. That's that black now. It's that black. Yeah, it's Let's see what it does from this yellow. Does it, does it just trickle into the middle? I'll have a look on the other camera if it's very, very short. With some force that yeah, quick. Ended up not in maybe be uh, the best of places there, maybe uh, try and double it across the bottom right. Possibly a cross double. Mm. I think cross double. Oh, cocked up. So we want to take these out just to uh, just close that gap. I 
know it is a marathon, not a sprint, but I'm going to keep on top of that, yeah. So. Andy Sanderson's in. He's listening. <laughs> He's made it. Hallelujah. How, how many minutes in are we, in our, in are we Sam? <laughs> it's only took him an hour to log in. <laughs> Brilliant. Nice one. Well done. Persistence pays off is what I'd say. <laughs> Something like that. It's minus one to five. Live from Showman's Sports Bar in Scunthorpe. The cue ball's in. And I'll tell you something. Ooh. Again, the, it's just them. No, no, no. Do you think that goes okay. middle? Um, sorry, which one? The yellow in the middle? Is that like one of them? Yeah. It's yeah. good that we've got a bit of room there. But, yeah. um, what I was going to say was this probably. Second nicest split the bottom and why it's gone flying in. <laughs> I can't say what he's just messaged me. Is that Andy? Yeah. I can say I'm be careful what I say I want to be picked in the team on Thursday. I'll just say he needs to pick us because we need a win. Hey, that back of fairs that you got, pal, that was all right, wasn't it? Anyway, less about us, about these. Isn't it? Isn't it? Let's go for it. It's got to be red, it's, uh, sorry, it's got to be yellow, it's just putting this red somewhere just to start off bottom of the table and then work your way back. I like to say that side view that you put up to show that that one's middle. I'm sure it does. I'm, it's definitely a full ball there. Uh... No, I think we're going to find out. We'll find out yet, yeah, to be fair. Look, it's fight through the perfect on it now. Do you take it? Connell's just message to say that he's uh, just bought the pay-per-view to watch, even though he's behind the bar. In the queue and cushion. What's he going to do? Plug his phone into the TV? So, uh... <laughs> no. Uh -huh, I'll send a uh, copyright strike. We have to pull all in pretty quiet. It's, uh, it's a nice little way to spend your Saturday evening, Dan. <laughs> yeah, so that, that yellow, it, it's comfortable. It, it, it's comfortable. Yeah. into the middle. It's minus one to six. I'm trying to work out what it is. We played ten frames there, so six to George, four to uh, to Tom. Well I'm glad you are keeping on that one. I still annoyed that that minus one's there because uh, minus one to six. It's, uh, <laughs> But yeah, we're 10 frames in. Six to George, four to uh, Tom. But like I said earlier, it's still early doors. First to 30, it's, it's going to go along.
So we're just coming up to the one hour mark. 10 frames. Great, balls are split beautifully, but uh, now down, and I guess when you break like that, and now it goes down. Very frustrating sometimes when you've got a sledgehammer break, it can be very frustrating if you, uh, if you come out dry. Oh, there you can see. Well, this. no one can see that yet. I'm just trying to prep it. <laughs> Sorry, Sam. <laughs> you've, just, you've just told everyone we need to camera angle. Brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> Which will be. All right, no. yeah, there we go. Hey, so you can see it's filling up in here. in light when that door opens. Like that. So that makes you have back into the same bag. I'm having a good and seeing how in this frame is George. <laughs> Trying to suss out what chalk he's using. Just for its fans, of course. It's trying. I think it was. <laughs> I'm really chuffed to know I've got something in common with George Sander there, you know? Yeah. Isn't it? We'll get a real close up in there. Oh, well, I'll just come with him. Word as well. Yeah, he drops this in, it leaves him a nice angle to go up for the one on the cushion on the right hand side. Okay, just to make sure he finds uh, the gap that he wants to. <laughs> that looks bomb on. Yeah, oh, look at that. Yeah, there you go. Oh, look at that. No. A little screw just to get close to his way. Black for another another frame to George. There we go. I think Tom just needs something from the home crowd. I can hear a lot of chatter. 
That's about it, really. Yeah, I guess with these matches, then it's, it's a bit of a problem, isn't it? It's gonna if it goes tight, <laughs> come the end they're gonna be really backing. It's gonna be rocking. But what you don't want to happen is in this beginning to middle, for a gap, a, a, a gap to appear. Yeah, yeah. Because then we'll go from here. So it's a bit of a catch twenty two, really. Main thing, Tom, bang a few frames, and uh, I'm sure your home crowd will get behind you and uh, start rocking the joint. Another end. Got another in off for uh, Tom there. I think that break is so important if it ain't gone. Well, oh, it is. It is the most important shot of the match. It's, it's as it. simple as that. Well, yeah. putting a black is the most important shot for obvious reasons. But the, but the break's all about control. But the break, it. the I break can, makes it. If I can put off the break, I'm in control of that break. Yeah, yeah. Um, and I've said it already tonight. If you, um, you've got the sledgehammer break and now it goes down, very frustrating, especially when it happens time and time again. Start doing your edit. Oh, 100%. And then more with the modern game, you start seeing people then experimenting with a break, trying the cut break, coming out are you, wide. Are you looking at me though when you're saying experimenting with break? You must have seen how many hours I spend in club. <laughs> but changing the angle, going for the second ball down. You start playing with your head. You know, you, it can, it can. It yeah, does, it, it does, can. because the sledgehammer, without a ball down, very frustrating. <laughs> Seven's looking at Tom with a towel in his hand. Do you think it's warm in here tonight, Sam? It is absolutely mafting. And I went to watch a really match not, not so long ago and um, spoke to one of the players in it after the game. Um, and he just said that sometimes that heat can actually really impact on you. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, it's going to. A little sweaty hand with the cues maybe yeah, sticking yeah, yeah. a bit. Come back a bit further than he wanted to, but you can come off the left, crushing him. Yeah, you just drop this in, really. Great shot. And that's now minus one. Two eight. I don't know. Man, this one time it's irritating me. The more you say it, the more it will. So the game started off with a, a five frame difference. Um, Tom started from minus five. Um, and as we look at it now, nine frame difference. Um, and Tom will be warning to. Um, he can't let this run away with himself. Yeah, he, he, need, he, need, he needs to stem, stem this tide a little bit. Um, I feel like I say, the longer you sit in the chair, it might plays with your head. But it is a long, long way it is to a long race. race to 30, however. So I just want to see. He's having issues in.
We hope everyone's enjoying the stream, like I say. Um, he's not liking that middle where and, the black's going. He's wondering if it's the ball. Is this what the two reds are, bro? I don't know if he's thinking there's something on the red or... It's just interesting watching this. Like all top sportsmen, George will have one thing in his mind at the moment, you know. I'm getting these frames, and um, how you say Phil Till is amazing at it in darts, you know. When your opponent's having a bit of a wobble, that's the best time to go after him. So, George will be really thinking, right, won't mind the next couple. Wow. And you know, so what a time. Oh. Um, just like this. But yeah, put back, maybe. That yellow, if that yellow stayed over the bag, it had been a lot easier. But again, Sorry. we've been talking about the break, haven't we? Like, with little smiles on our faces. Again, great smash, several down. Yeah. But where's his uh, Where's his opener here? He's just going to play safe. I think that's the correct shot there. The yellows have got no movement. Reds aren't either, really. There's no easy shot on either part. You know, you, you, you just never play anything silly. I could see probably a developing shot on the reds and just play it safe. Okay. Unless you play this yellow down towards the bottom of the table and screw the white on um, he may have just got away with that with that yellow covering the I think yeah, he, he has yeah he has he's got away with that one you could see what the idea was bring the white onto the top of the cushion and um, yeah, the secondary yellow covering that line this means another safety shot coming in However, there is a chance now. If Paul is feeling this, I think he. I think he's not like saying so. Sat down in his in his corner with his towel. Yeah, that's a nice shot. Is that? Set these out. Start feeling a bit better there. You've just got. Yeah, you've just got a shot now, ain't you? That shot. Make yourself feel so much a little bit of himself. Watching George win the past couple. Go down, go down. A little trickier than what it should have been, but. Hell of a lot trickier than what it should have been. Yeah. Your white ball's just going massively away from you. Checks it off the cushion. Nice. How's nice. your bounce? Nice. Nice. Well, don't really show it. That angle shows it better. He's gonna have to come off the cushion. Shout of come on, Tom head up from the crowd. George has got pretty routine stuff here. Yeah, he has. Yeah, leaving the one near the back, just to use it to uh, drop onto the back. Let's play that bit far. Yeah. 
Yeah. No problem, really. We'll just check it off again. Check it off. You're coming back onto the block. I'm going to look at something, though. But you know, know something, Tom needed that. He needed it. There's your cow. That's what he needs. A bit of momentum, a bit of uh, wind in his sails, and um, he can um, drift back into the, uh, the game here, can't he? I think you could say that George wasn't feeling that black. He looked at it a few times, probably a few too many than what he usually does on shots, but hey, look, it happens. That's Paul. It's on to the next frame. It's how, it's how good your mentality is at staying in within touch with it all. You, know, you don't let it, you don't let the previous shot put you off at the rest of your game. I'm not sure how I could be like that, Sam. I'm a sulker. <laughs> <laughs> so Barley's took the minus five off. He's on oh, wow. the plus. I heard a ball there. Yeah, red's gone down. Red's gone over the bag as well. So it goes around there, goes around these reds. Like looking at a thing cut into the middle, yep. Oh. Oh, I played it. Not a bad lie, really. Safety in mind. Safety in mind. Anything from that angle we can see. There ain't much really, is there? Oh, we've seen a lone red up top. Yeah. I think it will work a shot, that red. Personally. Sound. What's that? Minus one gone. I just said that at the start of the frame. That's oh, what it now's worth. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, the minus one's gone. That's a nice shot. He's got rid of the red that was the only bad one really. Yeah, because this one was bottom left. Uh, bottom right, sorry, so. It's not the best of opportunities to get onto it, but there is one. Looking for that's the angle he's found. 
have this same cue and cushion. In she pops. On the black top right. I think with them back to back frames, we'll be feeling a little bit more. Uh, we're dancing on that dance floor. Just a little bit more with it. Yeah. I think so too. So it's gone now is uh, George 98 at Tom Barley 1. But like I said, Tom will be feeling a little bit happier now, just uh, getting get a bit more momentum in the game. A bit more of a which is cool for us. We want it to be a nice tight scrap, don't we? Of course we do. So he's going to be getting on now with that break again. Them two next to each other, I reckon the Adams are, but uh, next to each other. on the bottom one there. Oh. Oh. There's a little quite an angle sticking out there. Oh, hey, bit of thought from there. Sticks his hand up just to, uh, to apologise to Tom. Just trying to look down there, uh, one of the angles there, just see if you can see that red at the bottom left near the black. I uh, think, where can I contain? Where can I contain? I can't see that pop. Where can I contain? And it's so hard when you look at that situation behind that red. One cushion clip, the other yellow. Oh, he's gone for a pop. He went for a pop. It worked a shout with that. That's right. During this match, at times where we're not talking, hopefully you can hear the uh, the tunes that are playing. Sometimes silence is golden. Um, hey mate, it's Saturday night, Saturday night job, <laughs> isn't it? And I'm watching again from the sky lounge. Here there was the. I said I remember um, watching the game from Skyline with Jay Washington. Oh, yeah. Um, fans of the club. 
and that was very loud music. When I was watching, I was like, uh, I was expecting the uh, the strobes to start kicking off and the lasers <laughs> and all that. It can happen, certainly. Interesting to see if Tom takes a break soon. What they've been playing for. An hour and a half now. Just, uh, just, wow. An hour and 23, to be precise. You know, it's certainly picked up in temperature in here. Possibly you could tell that with the table. A uh, little bit couple of shots where the ball's running a bit further than they expected. Middle, so you can just uh, go back a little bit to the bottom of the ground. Yeah, it's played that well. Yeah, it's Ooh, look a bit. Right, just play back a little bit. Yeah, you'll be alright. There we go. Nine one to George. In a money match for forty-one thousand pound, live from Showman Sports Bar in Scunthorpe, the home of Lincolnshire Whiteball County. We've mentioned it a few times how successful they are at County. Yeah, I think we've mentioned it. Be they're in uh, they're in our region, unfortunately. Cheers, EBPF. <laughs> yeah, but you can see it all on the walls as well. As you look around the pool hall, you can see uh, the uh, the county the county photographs of them celebrating success. Just a little, just a little. And what you say, East Yorkshire share uh, in the same division, is it, Sam? Yeah. Yeah, we're in the same re we're in the same region. So in our region, there's uh, North, East, South, and West Yorkshire, plus Lincolnshire. Lincolnshire win it every year, I take it. Uh, they are doing it a minute. They are the, the winning general county finals. Come on, Tom. Well, actually, I've been met to feel very welcome here to that, sir. Very welcome. So he pops out from this one just over the bag, so in time to be uh, yeah, perfect position. Quite hard. Yeah, that's nice. I like that. And where are you putting that last yellow? Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, that's a just run this through. Black. Into the middle. It will go in before it even went down. Into the middle. 9 2. Oh, we're flying through these frames now. Flying through the frames. I think that is uh, a cookie for George. And I can't see him sat in his chair. They've gone for a break. I don't know. I'm, uh, well, I'm assuming so, because uh, Tom's on his phone. Yeah, well, everyone's going for a little break now. Um, oh, well. Um, back in a couple of minutes, then. All right, let's get to you soon, everyone.
So we're back. Oh, hang on. Kev's back too. George to break. Well, that's has made an interesting frame. Bottom left of your table. Little cigarette break. Nothing less, nothing more. Sam, that uh, bottom left corner is giving a uh, Mr. George just have a little bit of think here. Yeah. You could, mm, yeah, I was about to say that was the shot that I was thinking he'd play. Shot. Hey, he's parked up sadly. Could be a jabby shot here. I didn't really see that one, I didn't think. That's fall like that. But it has done. It's kept him at the table. He's just got these two on the left hand side. Erdan, just seeing your comment. Since you are listening on the pay per view, to make it full screen, the button's on bottom right. You might have to press the screen just to bring the uh, player controls up. But yeah, it's bottom right on the side. That is so unlucky. So unlucky. Some fresh air during the break there, and uh, a few more people coming in. Marcel's out there.
Wow, he's uh, really caught that one. Yeah, that's right. Sometimes you don't hit it hard, but you time it extremely well. And it just glides and glides. Rescue mission here from Tom Barley on this position. Well, he's made double figures. For George, it's 20 to go. Only. I was going to say, when you say it like that, it's a uh, <laughs> like marathon, not a sprint. And when you set off like that, 20, 20 to the finishing line. <laughs> 20. So if that red goes bottom left, don't think it does, so you'll play that one, oh yeah, actually you'll just play into the middle, what am I thinking here, yeah, this one bottom right, come across, the other red into the middle, you drop onto the black. need to watch his work now there. No, he's fine. That is nice. He's fine, he's fine. And, and were a big bag if you really needed to make it too. Lock in. Another quick fire frame. It's 310. So they're all touching in there.
again. Yeah, dry one and a nice split for yellows. This is long starter, really. He didn't want that in. That was his way to make it a lot easier, this one. Playing aggressively, you'll double this right hand yellow that's just on the bark line into the middle. And he's gone far, he's pulled up short. Let's just see what he, uh, what he leaves now. George is already looking a few shots ahead, so he's looking aggressively, yeah. Play this one. The one left. Middle. Yeah, it's got to be left middle, really. Now. Just trickling the white ball down the table. Missed it. Missed it. That cluster with the yellow red, just near the black spot. Just needs a bit of help. and put it into uh, top rank, maybe. I think you're asking a lot here when you could probably just do it off this yellow rear and just clip in. I'm just thinking twice about it. Thinking twice. He got one half of the job done. One half of the job. I think it's just them two now. Two near the uh, middle right. There's the top one going, and maybe can roll one down the uh, bus. Yeah. Sandow's going to love me when I mention this oh, on stream. What's he doing now? So I've got a bot in the chat that just... Um, sorry, I'll just reply to this one as well. People. So I've got a bot in chat that every so often he'll mention in, say, like, you know, visit this link to watch the match and all this and other. Uh, Sando, thank you. Know, obviously, it's nice of people to look out for people. Yeah. Thought you were a different streamer advertising in the chat. It's <laughs> not a big bag to work with. Top left. So it's getting onto the one uh, at the top, top of the table, really. You could probably do it now, using the big bag. Play right up it. Just gone for. Be too pleased with where the whites landed.
join this next frame. I'm gonna have a walk around and see if anyone wants to uh, jump in the booth with you. Yeah, well, like I said, that's gap down to uh, down to six now. It's Martin Lamming. Two seconds. So gap six. Down that time. <laughs> so just working out which one's there. He likes to look at the most. Well, some Nottinghamshire lads have turned up. Yeah, they're from Mansfield. Uh, you might just want to bring the mic a bit closer to you, by the way. So if you've been saying all, they may not have been able to hear you. <laughs> As I said, just watching George pick these off. That, all that looks a little bit interesting. the middle if it can um, get on this uh, drift down towards this uh, bottom red does that black trickle past the yellow to the middle I don't know the way you're always looking at it I look see what it's always makes me chuck when I try and move my head to have a look in there Drifting down He's going to play nice there, so you know, there's no trouble with the black now, you just bring it out. Make life a lot easier for yourself. Oh, ah, well, clean hit it then. Clean hit it then, George, why not? Black into middle. Well, I never knew if it did go to that middle, so... Um, it didn't, yeah, it didn't go, so you had to just, just give, it a, give it a little bit flip. A helping hand. Black into middle. Yeah. So Eleven at ten. So where's uh, that? 11. What's that now? Where? Uh, eleven four to George. Yeah, eleven four minus five from Tom. How would that put it? Eleven nine. Yeah, Graham's one. Yeah, eleven nine. So I always like to look at things as well. What is it on the actual? Nine. It's always an interesting stat to play across from. 
No, is it under now? Wow, he's that's a good smash, isn't it? Well, lump white no. balls in again. That is absolutely. You watch him open like that. And then. Have I got that one right? Yes, so yeah. Uh, minus five, nine. yeah, yeah. They're eleven now. On frame four. Go on, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I think I must have missed the graphic. That's all. That's all. That's all. Free shot mm. brings us up. the only awkward. Oh, well, that's what I suppose. So, only one. awkward, the main awkward one off to go yellows, yeah. actually. Oh, I so said that one left just that I just realised now. Yeah, go yellows. Goes in off the red? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, the yellow uh, on the left rail goes into the middle. Wow. Mm. You ain't doing much with a shot like that one. I'm just trying to look up there and see his face after missing that, see if he... Um... Well, I can show you his face when, when I've found him. Just now. Um, a big sigh, that's what his face is. A big sigh, what is that? I'm shaking my head, man. Anyway, back to Tom. Yep, that's your shot to get onto the black, I'd imagine. What, Unless yeah. you do it now, to get rid of it. I'd, I'd, I'd personally get rid of it. Well, not literally now, but... Nah, it's not good it now. This one just off the red. Right, sir. I was interested in seeing where how close I need to get to his wire. Yeah. And straight away, you heard that crowd there. Uh, give him something to cheer them with that nice black. Be interesting to see how uh, George dresses this break. I think he's uh, got a little bit frustrated a couple of times with the break this evening. Just rubbing the table there.
in this week for flying through. So they're going to the opposite middle. Middle left, middle right, and then uh, and the black. Something to cheer and the cheer in. And the place is livening up. It certainly is. Let's crack the jukebox back up. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> Now, when you think about it, it's uh, 11 6 five frame gap. That's what we was at the start. Um, Tom's getting back into this now. He's uh, actually the crowd's getting into it as well. Let's just see who's on out here. Oh, black's gone. You haven't made shots there. I always get a little bit frustrated when the black goes. Obviously, ultimate pull, it's kind of like you win the trade, but in a, our pull, it's like, yeah, re-rack, re-rack. Re-rack, yeah, that's the one. Got a drink? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Can I have a ton of pepsi? Thank you. Can I have a pepsi? Pepsi Max? Oh, and then that happens on the uh, on the rear back white girls in. Using that first shot to develop how he wants. Yeah, sorry, yeah. Thanks, I think she's been lovely today, hasn't she? Just one of the barmaids done it. Looks after us today, like I say, hospitality's been there. Uh, been really good here. So George, now going for it. Yeah, when he puts that red over the, uh, the pocket, you're just gonna have to move that black a little bit. Also got the one as you look at the table bottom left. I'll see yellow cup in the bag. And the uh, pot is red now, moving the yellow. Tom is going for this. I'm interested to see what he does with the top, uh, top left hand side of the table. With that red sat over, is there some form of skill shot there? Leave some type of angle, like you say. I always struggle with this because uh, they can do spins I, I could dream of doing. So it'll be interesting to see how he deals with that top left hand side of the table.
because you've got some air to be able to, uh, to pop up in that direction. One to middle to uh, to get the white pin to that top corner. I tell you, they see stuff I don't even see, so they really do. <laughs> if you're calling shots, it's just like, nah, nah. It's fairly funny listening to you, mate, at times. Yeah, it's, it's good. I guess I'm just a good. basic pole player, and these are a little bit better than basic, aren't they? Yeah, you could say that. I looked at that, yeah, good shot. shot. Yellow into the middle, drops naturally down for the Liam to go bottom left. I think he can hold it. I'm sure. Yeah, it looks like he's just drifting in the right angle if he does go for it. Mm. And he's missed it. George starts off with one in the middle, dropping high as a jaw. Get this one, come it down for the bottom left, and then use the one up at the top end of the table to uh, to get onto the black. Have to go across and then back across to end up on the black here. But it's gonna, it's gonna want to run. Two cushions, yes. No, you can just probably play one here and just bit of trace left. It's played two way trace left. Mm. Either way, same job. You're on the line. And that's for him to judge. I think Tom would be a bit gutted with that one with that little uh, that little cut to middle just to drift down for his last yellow, but uh hit the jaw and George went down and uh, did the biz. That's that's one I have got score right, haven't I? So it can't be. Oh, can it be? What's up, Sam? I had it down. Who broke? Let me check who broke. I do like the pace that uh, Tom plays at when he's in the balls, it's just, he just flows.
Just working out how he's going to do this. Transition from top to bottom, or bottom to top. Oh, worked out well. And now we can use this uh, yellow of the bag if he just wants to uh, pinch the pocket. So, uh, perfect on the black and get ready to wear the crowd. I think we're ticking along quite nicely now. You think so, the fans think so, yeah. everybody thinks so. A nice little pace, uh, blur for blur, it's all right this. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. But they've gone out of sync now. Well, I guess it happened. Yeah, again, when we spoke earlier about a ref. Quite interesting, that someone's just come and mentioned that uh, one player went um, right back to back. So. Well, I thought that. Well, that's you, why you I was told it. You was looking at it, weren't you, Sam? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's why I was a bit confused. Sorry, I'm just trying to sort a few bits out. But let's see if this George can get his uh, get, get his brake flying now. Let's have a look. But this now. is the thing: if you haven't got a red, a little shake of from uh, George. Then, if you don't. If you don't have a rep, there isn't much else you can do in terms of... I guess it's just play on, mate, at the end of the day, but neither of them called it, and um, the game's moved on, I guess. Yeah, well, yeah, well, that's it. That is all you can do. Um, yeah. yeah, now everyone's messaging me about it. <laughs> is that what we're all doing, yeah? Yeah. Yeah, it's not Tom that's broke out. Uh, well, Tom's technically broke out a term, but yeah. George allowed him to, I think. And I think George that's said, as well. I'm being challenged at the time. No, no, but on, no, it? it was just, I think it, Tom looked at George, George looked at Tom, George, George nodded at Tom to say it was great. I don't know. Anyway. Anyway. Yesterday's so, news. Yeah. Is yesterday's news. We move on. We move on. Yeah, we move on. You should have shouted, Sam. Yeah. No, I'm not a ref. It's hard, really. Um, right, anyway. That should be that bit. Done. These reds are looking quite nice for uh, Tom. Best time we've seen it. One of those are uh, only thing in black you can see. Oh, 
I've just done basically, which is nice. Um, kind of says how many people are watching. But I've just had an email off my um, website hosting provider saying basically that like, there's an influx of play- people to your website, too many. Uh, will allow you to basically upgrade your account. Right. Okay. I'll, I'll, you know, that does the job. So, yeah, thank you to everyone that is tuning in currently. I apologise to those that may have had a look at their hiccup logging in. Uh, hey, we're in, we're sorted. Right, so I hope you all enjoyed your Saturday night. Take away wine, pull on the TV. What a good Saturday night that is. By the way, what a football score. Tottenham's playing, aren't they, against Man U? Something? I don't know. I'm not bothered, but. Well, I am bothered, but I'm not bothered at the same time. It's football, isn't it? Are you a Sheffield United fan, mate? You're not bothered about football, are you? No, definitely not. Not a minute, anyway. Yo, it's. Held. Now, for those people who haven't got Sky Sports, I've just had a look. Tottenham are winning 2 0 against Man United. Yeah. Not bad. In the 85th minute. So. Yeah. There is life after Kane. It's so interesting how Tom here uh, to over that top right of the corner, but um, I, I think, think he's just... given George a bit of a free hit. Yeah, yeah well, I don't know what he's going to do, but like, by passing the baton, is uh, basically saying to George, What are you going to do? Just, I don't know, looking at that angle, you could attack it, you should, maybe. Could even play a bit of a billiard shot here, play a thin off the yellow, cannon onto the yellow, well, the one that's next to the red, in the middle of the park, and it's going safe. Well, you know a bit about billiards, Sam. No. <laughs> he's just, I think he's just playing this now, saying, George, saying, well, you can see, go for it. There isn't one, though. There's nothing. Unless you're going to play an absolute world of a skill shot. That, what angles you got here? Nothing. Yeah. You played into middle of pocket, uh, middle pocket, aren't you? It's just non-existent playing up there. I like what he's done there. Tie the back in a little bit, though. That's one of those little uh, speaking frames, isn't it? I'm having a little think in this one. Yeah, so they're just passing the baton to each other. Is he going to hang up into this top corner now? But look again, they've got up white ends. It's good to put it back on itself. Good thing he puts it. <laughs> well, put it at your own peril here, mate. This black could go absolutely anywhere, depending on how you play the cut, that is. 
Oh, Mr. Cop. There's Mr. Cop. If you can see what I see sat next to me, I've got Sam dancing away. <laughs> anyway, George eyes yeah. this up, didn't he? So, uh, what will that give him? Six lead if this uh, takes these three out. Plus two is whack. Oh, and that goes in. First scores there. Rob so, Sammy, Betty. I'm Amanda sure they'll realise at some point that they've gone out of the turn, probably when it's the deciding break. <laughs> but oh one one of the lads said something yeah, but like you say it's kind of like um, oh shout out for the badge on the table mill snooker of sheffield top fitters of any q sport club i saw yellow go in then yeah yellow's in yeah uh, not really splitting nicely still, are they? They're not, are they? They're not. Making it all a little bit bitty. Yeah. Like I say, Sherman's is starting to fill up a bit now. Um, majority of the support yeah, is we'll, here for we'll Tom. We'll get a camera flying around in a minute. Two seconds. Majority of the spot is here for Tom. And like I said at the start of the game, I thought it was quite cool. George just walks in with one pal, puts down, cracks on. As he thinks about his next shot, let's pan around crime watch. Sort of cluster just above the uh, left middle. <laughs> oh. A little double across maybe. Uh, yeah, but uh, what's it gonna develop? We'll have to see what it does here. Yeah, he's looking at cross double. Sonic shot that he's got on, really, isn't it? Yeah. He's smashed it as well, good lad. It's so unlucky there. But where's that gone again? It's uh... <laughs> What's he probably thinking here? Well, please, pull gods, give me a break. That's probably what yeah, he's thinking. Can he take off some of them? No, I don't know. So. I don't know. <laughs> you only... It is. Oh. There you go, Q's in the air. He went for a weird, like, still shot there. Yeah. Just give it a go. Yeah, we're popping in the commentary box here. By the way, they have got desserts here. So, just throwing it out there. How many pool holes do you know that serve desserts? I do know a couple of others, thankfully, of travelling around. 
Shout out to Supreme Pool Lounge in Bristol. What could the do is that? Yeah. <laughs> Did ice cream, brownies, fudge cake, all sorts. These do too. Oh! Oh! <laughs> you know, when you need sort of a bit of a momentum sifter, man, I do something like that. Can you get some wind in these sails now? Come on, back on itself. Listen to the crowd. Listen to that crowd. I want to apologise if you heard any uh, any language in the background then. What from me is me or Sam? I have now got to see if uh, I clicked that at the right time. I don't know. I don't know. Hey, sometimes fortune favours the brave and uh, I thought, yeah, give that yellow welly. And, but it's, it's little things like that that can just shift that momentum in your head, you know? Don't overthink it. Don't be... Uh, can you just see them? Ba boom yeah, you're right. You're right. I just love the way that Let Me Entertain You comes on the jukebox after seeing them two shots. They might start doing Tom Cruise colour of money, waving his cue around and... Uh... You know what I'm on about, don't you? Okay. Paul Newman. I'm just trying to find... You can see the frustration building every time he's going dry now. Head shakes in there. It's frustrating when you're eating them as sweet as that. When it's happened three, four, five, six times. Yeah, to tame you. So he's looking at these uh, these reds now, and after the after the last two shots and last frame, what's the crowd been like? It's like smooth, takes these out, feeling good. So I was thinking about that problem, but I think what he's going to do in there. It's a lovely way to come over to it. Lovely way to come over to it. Are we sensing it? Oh, two big friends. Oh. Yeah, listen. Yeah, two big friends. Get it just. Let me entertain you, pal, is it? I would show a replay if I can find where the uh, things have gone. Just disappeared off my screen. I'm feeling. into four closest it's been closest no because if I remember Tom won the first two frames didn't he so it was into three but the closest it's been in um, probably over the last two, two hours two and a half hours yeah yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah more. I tell you you're watching smash this now and the balls fall beautifully you could feel a bit Here of a momentum go. shift come on let's see what we do yellow yeah. red Wow, it's got to be red. Boom. Yeah, it's got to be red, hasn't it? Got to be red. Got to be red. But you feel that momentum shift. 
Just that. Getting that little stroke. Look again. Look, the confidence hey, goes pull, up. Pulls massively two sided. Uh, two halves to a game. 100%. I, I think any Q game is. Oh, yeah, any Q game is. But pulls definitely that way inclined. Probably a lot more than a lot of other games. It's going to come up enough. It has. It has. You're going to see the difference in the posture, the pace. Yeah. Well, that's it, isn't it? It's just a bit of confidence. And that's... Confidence counts for a lot in pool. Look at that. I like this one being a bit easier to get onto the top, but yeah, yeah, it maybe. shouldn't be a problem. Big gap to aim for. Let's see how that bounces off that cush. I'll be happy with that. Very happy with that. No, nope. just someone just up there. Yeah, someone in front of it. I like. Very. People are just literally on the. Uh, and get ready boardings. to hear the noise of kids, and it's. Uh, you can feel the swing happening in the room. He now reaches double figures. No, he's not the same man as one anymore. <laughs> Eight cents, couldn't he worth? Two cents. People confused at home, but it's not showing. What's it not showing? Showing the people that's gone wrong. No, he's not gone wrong. What? As we come again, obviously, George has um, had his frustrations with his break. Look at these. So let's see which one he fancies. Looks like he's going yellow. <laughs> <laughs> uh, right, where are we at? Yeah, someone's on somewhere. We're all good. Yeah. Good. Just the confusion in scores because the scoreboard they've got in the arena, they haven't reset it when one room played the minus five thing or whatever. So. Okay, there's probably uh, ten and ten, wouldn't you? George has took yellow here. And obviously, Tom's won the last few frames, so. Uh, I think George would like to uh, get this one. This is up nicely. Yeah. Now where's it going there? Oh, oh it nice. kicks in then that side. I think someone was looking at where this red. But I'm just going to show on stream when Tom moves out of the way. Unless he's playing it. No, that one. Someone goes, oh, does it go? What's that? Eyes. That red, to top right. It flies. It flies. <laughs> Oh, Ooh, I, nev I never oh, saw that. Come in. Come in. What a tune, by the way. Yeah. And 
Nice grunt to them um, to uh top right. Dug right down into that to get as much reaction on that as possible to bring it back. Same shot again, oh, really. Same as he fancy doing it again. Oh, he's going to go middle first. Yeah. Yeah, surfaced. Knocks the run out of way. A little bit of swaz on it as well. And the blocking. They make it to 14 10 yards. So race to 30 for 41,000 pounds will land from the Shermans in Scunthorpe, home of Lincolnshire Black Ball Pool, one of the most successful county pool match, uh, pool match? county teams in the nation. Forty one thousand for him. What is that? Black Sally. So we hope you're all enjoying the stream this evening, this Saturday evening. Have you all sat on your surfers? Food, wine, and what looks like it's going to go a very close pool game. There just to uh, to hold it right to where I wanted it to be. And they're using the as a blocker. That one down the uh, that tighter one. I'm feeling the last 45 minutes, Tom's been a bit, uh, a bit loose. He'll probably uh, licking his lips with ease now. So you don't want to jinx the lad. <laughs> oh, just gonna say, where's this gonna go now? Um, but yeah, he's been a lot more confidence from Tom. And, couple of balls have just gone his way again <coughs> after it not happening no, and that's what happens you do certainly have to play this game out in order to get its rewards it's been interesting how he addresses the, uh, the three in the top half of the table the three yellows that's what you're looking at now I, I can follow through a little bit but where am I leaving it I, I, I was actually leaving with the last two Yeah, 
Christ, what's that? It's not easy though, is it, that? No, you, you've not got an easy opportunity now, really, other than uh, a double. You're playing double, double, double. Double, double. Yeah. Nowhere to hide. So you're just taking and grabbing everything you can and just go for it. Full blooded. Or is it? Is he finding something? Oh, it's gone. Oh, it's gone. Oh, oh yes. But now what's left itself with this last one? Look um, at that gap. Is there a gap there where he's no, going to be? No. No. I think he were hoping to give himself a better angle at the cut to the top right, personally. So that's the shot that he keeps looking at. Okay, let's see, yeah. There's going to be some power in this, I don't know. Oh, oh I'm yeah. waking oh, that. Shot. I am waking that. Good lad, Tom. Good lad. That was a good shot. Get ready for the noise. Back to him in three. 14 11. George. How excited. Well, it was certainly a shot and off. It was, wasn't it? It was, it was, it was nice. It was uh, it, even the double before it when he put it back to the middle. That was nice as well, sir. So. Well done, Tom. Another frame on the board. All right, so uh, how George hammers this um, this break? We'll change the angle. Will he stay? I've seen some yellow go there. Was yellow that yellow? Is. Yeah, yellow in. I think you might be keeping left from now on. Thin okay. cut here on the red. What are you thinking, Sam? Yeah. yeah. Oh no, actually, that's the easy one. No, what am I thinking here? Bottom yellow into the middle. Yeah. I just saw that as I was looking at the camera angle. Ooh. As a kid, as a, yeah, he's yeah, fine. Yeah, he's fine. And, 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 and that's why, because he knows that he's. Uh, that Had a bit of lady luck. Him down, and they got lovely. Sure. Again, he just took his hand up a little bit at that, hasn't he? Uh, yeah. More of a frustration hand up that one, though. Oh, sorry, I'm just on that. to the same. And there we go. These are some rapid frames. That's what I mean, we've got going, aren't we? It's uh... rapid frames going uh, in now. But there's not a set number of frames before breaks, etc. It's just when they both look at each other and say, two minutes, boys. Oh, 
So off we go again. Drives up the table, so a dry break there from Tom. Ooh. He's got away with that one. Yellow's in top. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was a... Can I really believe that from that's it? He misses Tom. one line out and then the uh, the big shit goes up top. It's uh... Found that one to uh, put the one fairly to the left into the top left. Yeah, you can get the one at the very top of the table say, now. That'd be the one you'd go for, then, it? Because uh, yeah, yeah, it's the worst one a lot. It goes. Yeah. You play it now. Yeah, that's it. There'll be no difficulties now as it takes out these. Uh, he does, but then saying that, look at the one he missed there. Not so long ago, but. That's where I can how far he wants to drop down from this up here left to the one to middle. Or what angle he wants to leave. Interesting. And then put this one to the bottom left, and uh, it's pretty much as you were at the start. That far frame uh, gap will be there again. Let's see if he does it. And there's your far frame gap. As you were, uh, I think what we know, 31 frames in. Is it? Uh, Three. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Something, like something like that. Uh. <laughs> anyway, we're, we're cooking on gas anyway. We're cooking on gas. Got that far frame uh, gap remains. Just gonna go up to Carl. See, if he said he, man he mentioned about commenting in a minute ago. So I'm gonna see if he's uh, up for it. Cold. Got it on. All right. I'll be back in a minute. For George Brick, let's have a look at this time. He stuck to the side that he went to last time. Right, just look up. Tom's going to get first dibs on these. Yellow just to develop them. That's so good, that's good. So now by the looks of like my angle, I can't really see that top right one, but um it looks like there's a, a pocket for every yellow. And that's it, just picking them off now. We don't need to move anything. What he's thinking is looking at that, uh, that yellow close up. So I think he's going to do 
these top three ones, top three yellows, and then come down and use the one at the bottom to uh, land on his black. And that was the one I didn't know went on or not from my angle, but uh, must do. The way he played that shot. We didn't know, obviously, I couldn't tell from my angle, but uh, I think the way he's played it showed it was very, very tight. <laughs> we need to spend a few hours sat next to someone, you can see him gels in the mouth, pills on the table. <laughs> you need to be an athlete like myself, Sam. Or well, if you want to play football nowadays, it's all gel, isn't it? I thought you got it in your eye then, Sam. No, thankfully not. So obviously he's got that one top right. Skilly maybe, but probably. Let's go, might move it now actually. Let's have a look at this. Make it look so easy when they do stuff like that. I'd be flying all over the table. <laughs> Oh, he's got a cut bottom right, uh, no. or he has got this point right here, or you go top right and cannon into the other yellow. I'd go top right, cannon into the yellow, personally. Yeah, you can't massively, but it's... Just... Left hand side, top cushion. Oh, I don't want it in. Oh. Oh. That is the only time you don't want to come up with a shot like that. There's the uh, 3 old mark start to, uh, to beckon upon us. This is frame 33. Problem though, isn't it? That we're all looking for George now. Good hit, but equally, yeah. Uh, Mr. Turn should kick these off. To middle, maybe just come back a little bit more than what you need so you can uh, put the white on the rail just to uh, tap the black down. What a 
scars on the doors. That makes it 17-11 uh, to George. To uh, shooting start, but what are the scores on the nose? George, don't. Yeah. Do you know what I'm on about this, Sammy? Don't no, no, don't matter. Don't matter. Don't matter. <laughs> <laughs> I don't see you. I don't know, a bit there. Right, hey, here we go again. Gap is six. Game on. It's all right. Um, what are you thinking there, Sam? What am I thinking? Yeah. Uh, yellows. They're a plant up, up, sorry, they're a plant up top. Oh, you could get a nice little... Oh. Hang on, hang on. Oh. Oh. Sometimes when you're just getting bad uh, luck, it's just... Uh, we're running a ball off. You know? It's, uh, it's uh, a couple of inches. That's, yeah, that's, uh, touching. Are they called touching? Yeah. 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 As then George comes back in. He'll be feeling these frames are really important as he's uh, pulled his lead back out to six. He'll be thinking again if he can get the next one or two. And that, that, that's a substantial gap. See if he can uh, come in and out without touching these yellows. No, he, he probably wanted to, to be fair, just well, to be on this one to the uh, yeah. middle. There you go. That angle should show you that one. Mm. It's tight. It's very tight. But it will drop. Traffic there, didn't he? Got stuck in traffic. Yeah. <laughs> um, he has, but this red flies in. Well, let's see, Sam. Yeah. Yeah. It's all right. It's all right. I don't know. He, he, you're risking. There's a lot of traffic in the way here, but yeah, you should be all right. Let's well, put it nice and soft. To and play. Let's see where this white stops. Oh, 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 oh. There you go. Uh, yeah, what are you doing with this one then, George? Are you going to try and sneak him out on the back? He's just going to play up behind it. Yeah. Can Tom see anything? Anything. The 
kick across. It's kick Behind across. It. Kick across. Hey, good shot, Tom. Good shot. Good shot. And that black's not right in the pocket either, is it, sir? Here we go. Get a bit of fortune there as well, just a uh... big, big area here sticking back into trouble. Oh, yeah, I think he's got it there, hasn't he? Well, he'll have the covering half the ball, but. Kiss there. Still, I don't want to be able to see an attack shot. I think it's about to uh, flip it hard again. So far, and he's just giving it some thought. <laughs> Yes. Yeah, he's that, we've just done another hour and a half stint there, so maybe just do that little uh... Let's have a look. Oh, and he's missed that. That's one you wouldn't have expected. Yeah, but now this is a big one for Tom. Big chance here. Yeah, big one. Yellow just allows you to break these two up. Just to put them in a bit more favourable position. Like so? Um, of course. Like add? so. I don't know. You on second thought, it's a bit awkward. Yellow would have got the Yeah, you, you're just playing. Yeah, and then just try and recreate an angle here. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, middle, middle. Yeah. And you need this frame, I think, as well. Uh, uh, let's look at across. George just going for some fresh air. So uh, I think he's having a two minute interval again. I'll speak to you all soon. Ah, we'll be back in a
and the players are back in the uh, in the arena. I'm liking the fact that the uh, the breaks are really quick. This means we get to see more pull in a short amount of time. So George leading 17-12. So, 34 frames in. This is the 35th. I think the next 10, 15 aren't going to be big. Like I say, personally, I think it'd be cool to uh, to go very close. But let's see how uh, George breaks. I think just remember then that he's been having a bit of look from the left. So just pulled it across. I can see George shaking his head there. Obviously one of those birds had his more balls on the top of the tail than the bottom. Makes it a little bit more frustrating, doesn't it? First up, going for Yellers. <laughs> Sam just come back from ordering food, I'm not even going to ask. Well, um, It'd be rude not to. Chocolate fudge cake, vanilla ice cream. That'll do, mate. Thank you very much. He's having a look at this one because he knows that he's, he's got to put his own heart into this one. There must be a money match or something happening in the corner because quite a lot watching one of the corner tables. Ooh. I'll tell you something. That's not a bad line. That ain't a bad line. Yeah, there is a bit of noise coming from that corner, isn't there? Yeah, there's quite a few sat around it. you got to think as well, it's Saturday night. You know, maybe a group oh. will come out to have a bit of a, a shindig. So the music's uh, a bit quiet now, isn't it? I know, I don't know what's happened with music. I'm good. I'm enjoying the... Uh, well, you were bopping away, weren't you, Sam? I'm enjoying the old playlist. I like that shot, you know. Come and deal with that awkward one as early as you can. Things we try and do with bad balls as early as you can, and that's just what he does. Left himself a nice plant. Oh, does he go for one to top right? I just think I can spin around and just get him on. Yeah, you, the, yeah, you're probably plants. playing one top right. Uh, oh, um, hmm. Do you play plants unless you really have to? Yeah, true. Top right is. Harry Bo, what's the uh, update in your new pit? What's the current viewing position? It's like, it's like percentage pull, isn't it? That's all pull is, really, isn't it? Yeah, now I'm just rash myself, so... Uh... <laughs> Oh, nice. 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 O
Ya bize görün. And so again, how close is one to get to the black here? I don't think it really matters. It looks because of the young one. But, yeah, but I thought, even if it didn't get it, that close, it's going to pop. Oh, yeah. But. And there we go. It's 18-12, um, George. I thought we're going to go back into song again. What is going on, George? Well, but I won't do it, Sam, because you don't know it is, do you? So, six for him, lead. was laughing a while back saying it's 20 from the finishing line not 20 it'll soon become 12. yeah it has and uh, they've come around very quickly and they found a red just the red though but it's all that matters one down you still at the table tom barnley um oh he has to be yellows I think he needs to go on those little streaks now where he just get two or three just to. He needs to find something, that is a fact. There we go. Plays his back, screws back. One in the middle. That was one of them shots where you always guarantee it's a skill shot or follow on shot. He just overcooked it a little. Didn't put into the middle. He is there for seconds. Played that nice because he just checked it slightly off cush. Delicate, delicate. Yeah, that's the uh, correct word for it. Nice, delicate shot. Soft hands. To the bottom. <laughs> and it's as you were, that five frame gap. We never really get any. Come, it's a bit like the tad, isn't it? We, we do drop to six. Going, yeah, we, yeah. we come into three. But to be honest, we've, we've stuck it around five all the way through this. And what we now? I think three and a quarter hours in. Mentality wise, if you soon break that kind of rot of being exactly three behind, four behind, something like that, whatever, you soon feel like you're progressing. Yeah. But if all you're doing is just staying, like four behind, five behind, Six you don't, behind, you don't, you don't feel like you're getting anywhere. Uh, 18, 13, George. George should break again. Like I said, as we look at the screen, he's been coming from the left recently. Um, does he stay left? He does. Red into the middle, red into the top left. Yeah, I think that's why he's staying left. And it's got to be red. Thank you, sir, Sam. Stick your reds, yeah? Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Oh, the music's come back on, Sam. Nice, isn't it? It's good. It's good, it's good, good. It's sat in my vibe, isn't it? Mm -hmm. 
Yours, yours into the middle. Oh, I just missed that. There's no middle pocket there, George. Tom will be there. Uh... So he's going to the middle now. Yeah, I just like that little, uh, little nudge thing that he did yeah, there. Yeah, that little tampon. So they're kind of quite nice. Little nudge. Now they're all there. Uh, we've all got somewhere to go. And I'll be hoping to put them there as well. But again, a nice little nudge. I like that little nudge pull. Is that right? Middle. When I try and nudge something, I'll be snooping myself here, aren't it? <laughs> Who knows? Who knows? Uh, pass it down there. Yeah, pass it. I'm going to get my Dennis Taylor glasses soon, pal. Hey, as long as you go to snookerspecs.com. <laughs> and thank you for them for uh, sorting my glasses out. Some fresh prescription lenses that were much needed after me performance on Monday. Tom takes, so when it when he's in, I like the way he takes and the pace to his game. It's um, very free flowing. I like it. I think sometimes you can overthink him, Paul, and he, he goes free flow and he just. You, you can overthink him, Paul, often, but you know. No, yeah, the way he just took them out. Yeah. Well done, and you can see the way he turned them to go to that scoreboard. Yeah, come on, one of them in it. Four behind. Right. Don't think he's been three behind or less yet. Been to three, we've been to three. And then he drifted back up to six, yeah. Oh. Mm. Mm. You're doing that nicking that fudge cake when it comes off. Yeah. I'm nicking that fudge cake. Thanks. I do you're all right, Rick. Not too, yeah, good, good. So we're into four. 18 14, George. It's Tom's break. What I'd do to get one off this break now. Just close this gap and get a nice little air. Uh, let's have a look. Flex. Oh, re He's done that twice now, hasn't he? Blacked in the middle and uh, yeah, yeah, there's no, nothing now. for a black in the middle in this game. Yeah. See who's uh, around the crowd now. Let's go over here. Over here. In the crowd. It's crowd watch. Quite a little busy place, isn't it? It's first right. Saturday evening, is uh, Yeah. That crew will be in there from quite early on. Oh, that that yeah. was the lads top left that we were on about. That's it. I mean, they, they knew where they wanted there. to. They wanted the front row seat. I think it was here. Yeah. Uh, just gone 12 o'clock today. Yeah, they were here when we were here this early on this morning. They were keen. Here we go. Quite often as what happens. Let's just see. Let's just see. Oh, he's got red in. It's just not. <laughs> just not a great line. It's not a great line. It's brutal. Again, them little nudges, I like it, Tom. I like it. Go on, go on. Ooh. That must be hanging over that. Hanging over. Hanging over, you ask? I'm going to know what it is. <laughs> George thinking skill here. Yeah. As it is so uh, far into the... Oh yes, ice cream too. As it is so far into the pocket. I'll tell you something, right. Let me just do a review of this uh, chocolate fudge cake and ice cream. 
it's warm chocolate fudge cake for a starter. So that's always a plus one. It's like common term with a 12 year old, isn't it, when he's chocolate cake around? Plus one. Oh, it's a big slice of chocolate fudge cake and all. <laughs> a good slice. <laughs> Look at that beauty, Kev. Look at that beauty, yeah. What's this? I'm a savvy man. Anyway, let's see if this skilly goes in. Of course and it does. Has. And it has. Still got two touching just above their left middle. Oh, so we ain't going to earn out from Sam for the next five minutes now. I'll tell you something, guys. Coming into Showman's, the new menu is fantastic. For a full venue to offer the menu that they do, sublime. <laughs> so, yeah, so them, them two reds, isn't it? They're just stuck together. Just above their left middle. Be interesting to see. Uh, yeah, because there's not a clear path to them, really. No, there isn't, really. It's just this yeah. angle that takes you away. Well, let's have a look. Let's have a look. What's, what's George thinking? Or, here? actually, you play this red. Right, email. Red, bottom left, clip off into the two. Yes, yes that's a, that is actually a good call, Sam. From bottom left now. That's why it's done. Yeah. Oh, class good shot. Call. Good call. Good call. Good call. Oh, I can't see that there. Uh, one is right there. This is going up top. Going up top. Can't see that. Yeah, he's fine. Yeah, cool. Quite right, there. He hasn't, his, his he's response, caught this knuckle. His response then? Yeah, he's caught the knuckle on the way down. Um, so it's not as easy as. It's not a gimme. Sometimes, I'll just stick my head over the monitor, just have a look on uh, players' faces. I think it tells you so much sometimes. You can just tell the world of the eyes are. There we go. Bit of back, just come back. Oh. Murder, murder, Sam. When you look at that camera angle, I don't know. Yeah, it really does. It does. Don't go there, though. And every time George misses me, you can imagine George has one pal here. The full room is here for Tom. Mm. You hear it. You hear it. I think I uh, lip read the words of unbelievable coming from uh, old Georgie boy there. There you go, if you're also having the full room on your side, come put that little bit of added pressure on you actually. Yeah, when you're playing at home. Depends how you deal with it, doesn't it? Depends if, how you deal with it. If it does, then you're in the wrong game. I just play well all the time. <laughs> I'm just looking at the poll. What did the poll say there? Oh, yeah. Let's have a little look at the poll. What people have voted for, for who's going to win. Still not really moved. It's 56 to 50. Uh, 44 in favour of Tom winning. Uh, 56 in favour of George winning. It's uh, neither here or there, I think. Yeah, it's got a little bit more. I think at one point it was 50. It was close 48, to 50. 50, 50 yeah. Yeah. Almost 50 50. See that scoreline maybe shows uh, is reflected in that uh, change. Nice little shot by Tom there, just spinning off the knuckle. Come around. It's coming, it's coming, keep coming, keep coming. Yeah, I like that. Well done, pal. Okay. I think if this goes in, we'll, uh, we'll be into three and there'll be some noise. Let's see. Then this is the closest we have been throughout the game into three again. Um, 
Yeah. And if you go by frame of one, obviously I know you're at the uh, minus five start, but uh, what's that, 20 frames to 18 in favour of Tom? If you go by frames one, obviously the minus five start. Um, Makes it look uh, 18 15 to George. I'd say it's the closest we've been. Um, a three frame gap. Let's, uh, let's watch this George Ray. Like I said, I've been fascinated by it all match tonight. It, it, was great, it was great from the right as we see it. He switched to left, had a bit of success. Let's see if that success continues. Red into the middle. Yeah. Just a solo red this time. Um, I tell you, there's that gap there for that yellow at the top where you can go up and go through that gap. Yeah, there is a massive gap, but. but um, it's probably the shot to play just to drop into. Yeah, it's a bit massive, it's. Well, it's there. Yeah, it's two balls worth. A little roll here, just if I have that gap. Has he found it? Let's have a look. We'll know straight away by looking at his face. Yeah, he's found it. He's sound. He's sound. He's going to get back out the early goes in. Yeah, a bit of doctor out here, isn't it? A little bit of doctor out. So just uh, just a stun maybe an inch or two back. Maybe a little bit too much then. Every time we get to three, we go back out, and that's now 19-15 um, in favour of George. So I'll put this one to you, Kevin. Which one do you prefer? Commentary when we're in Coke, well, not exactly COVID, but when we're at Brigtown, or this? Uh, it's, it's one of those, I've had a, I've had a great doubt today. I have enjoyed the hospitality of Sherman's in Scum Corp. I think they've looked after us. Yeah, they sure um, As you are eating a uh, fudge cake. I think they've looked after us. Um, I've enjoyed it, but I love pull. I watch money matches all the time on YouTube. So to sit here and commentate on Mr. Turner when I must, I must have watched him for many, many hours. So yeah, I'm really enjoying it. I think the game's still in the balance now. Um, I would love Tom to come back in and really make it, you know, like nip and tuck game. Can you imagine Hill Hill? That'd Just be designer. beautiful, wouldn't it? That'd be beautiful. I think that's what every neutral wants. Um, Equally, it means we won't be getting back up, up, up the coast until probably right like half one, two in the morning. But um, uh, I don't know. We had it been playing. Uh, well, yeah, actually, yeah, it's on. Uh, but yeah, right. I'd, I'd, I'd like Tom to give a good account of himself. But equally for me, watching George for as many hours as I have on YouTube, just cool to uh, 
That's a lovely shot, Tom. Come on, lad. Wait till you get him to sign your shirt later. <laughs> I'm just going to pop this back out, black to middle. There we go. Beautiful. Yeah, I'm back to free again. I like them quick little bit. Boom, boom, you know? Soon, mate. So we're back to three. I can see this, yeah. The clock might tick and it might get a tad late, but I think there's a hell of a lot of distance left in this game. I'd love to get with inside three though. I like it, I like it. I'm not quite sure. Started off on the right. It is left now, and he is there. Uh, we've got his confidence in that break now. Tom's our first nibble on this run. And he's opted for red. Go for this tricky one down the rail first. Yep. Mistake on there. He's got Andrew there for well, some move as well. Good red. Definitely got uh, something he can play with here. He made some lovely doubles today, hasn't he? Yeah, he's he made uh, some lovely some doubles. No way that's really nice. He's been up and pulling them back on the cell. Yeah, uh, cross doubles are always one of the hardest ones. Um, yeah, he's, he's, he's made some lovely ones. Um, just needs to screw this and just get past that flat just to find the angle. Yeah, that you want. That's a good shot, actually, yeah. I was a little bit confused about what he was going to do, but yeah, really good. Well done, well done. I'm laughing to the same bag. Oh, where is this taking us? Within two. Within two. I don't think we've been, I know. We, we, we haven't been, been here. Two. We're Not three, from you. three hours, yeah. 36 minutes in. And this is the closest they have been. Ooh. 
Right then. Nice. It's all right. It's all right. It's all right. Hey, sometimes, I, not, sometimes mm. I question handicaps, right? But as I'm watching this game unfolding now, yeah. I think it might have been right. You know, where you get that lovely blend of a 50 50 game. You know? Are you not a lover of? No, it's not, I'm not a lover of. It's just so. They're so hard to call. You know, unless it's actual clear cut, it's so hard to call. Isn't it? Isn't it? Um, you know, to the day, it still all just counts for who turns up on the day. Right. Into the middle. That's right. Let's have a little look at you can top. just flick this uh, top right, flick into the red light just to separate them. Oh, he's going to serve. Right, yeah. Oh, he's got. Right, yeah. Uh, I'm gonna throw you that with that pocket, you think you're gonna stop on the lip or whatever. And, uh... Yeah, this certainly looked that, that was a bit too close for anything like that shot, really. I no, do I like, oh. Uh, that had a big retail, right? Like that. in right there. Yeah. The plan of action was nice, but unfortunately, the uh, just the execution wasn't. Oh. Yeah, but does that black go? Uh, Beyond the red, uh, I'll, I'll have a look in a minute. I think it does. In fact, we'll do that. No, uh, but let his hand go at that, didn't he? Jesus, yeah, just a little. Let his hand go at that. <laughs> just in the background, there you can see Jamie Clark. Nottingham should come to play. Is that the man in the Legion United top? Yeah, he played in the IPA. He was an IPA yeah. professional. Is that what I was asking? What? The one in the Legion United top? Yeah, yeah. I said yeah, didn't I? I did have better way. Mm. I haven't seen here. I'm here for poor commentary. <laughs> Nice. It's sad, so not being nasty. It's an interesting one because they are looking at that thing in the middle, but they're already getting that back together. Now it's a case of what the hell do you do with it? Well, yeah. Well, yeah, we aren't stating the obvious there, Kev, but <laughs> how is the question? Um, is there any gaps in that wall of red in the middle? I'm just saying this just a bit laugh here, but um, reverse man, cross double. Top right and back, so at least your white ball's coming down this end. Other than that, I don't know. That's my insight for tonight. I don't know.
Yeah, he's gone for it as well. He's gone for the cross double. Shot, George. Shot, Very George. Nice. That's the thing when you've only got you wanted to buy. I hear him go woo. He knows it for a good shot. That's all that matters. His mate stood up actually admiring it. Still stood and he's up. Just looking at the angle to be fair. Um, about this is George. I think that looks alright. He could just well, he's bring it in and just bring it up. about this angle that has been given here, but yeah, you just thought it'd be maybe a, a bit of a trace of side. Is it all? Yeah, it's a trace of side there. Yeah. Oh, yeah. no, he's alright. He's alright. And every time we get close. He pulls away. It's the first one to 20. The first yeah, one to 10. yeah. Well, it's two thirds of the way through, really, isn't he? But equally, we laugh. He just needs 20. Do you know what? He just needs 10 now. And Tom, three behind. In, 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 like, uh, Miles behind, is he? Certainly in my opinion. So, George Shabrick. I'm looking. Yeah, red to middle. White to middle. Like I said, Tom will want to come back in within two. And he's just coming down for this bottom one. I'm just looking how he's going to do this. Straight like that. Nah, look. Two power. Shot. Yes, this is back to win two. Come on, Tom. Shot. Good shot. Still dreaming of Hill Hill, so come on, Tom. Lad. Well done, pal. Back to two uh, behind. Uh, score is uh, 2018 to George. The Showman Sports Bar in Scunthorpe, the home of Lincolnshire County Black Ball Team, one of the most successful county teams of recent history. On a personal note, an absolute pain in the backside for our county region, but they are much loved. I'd also like to say a big thank you to RileyHeat.co.uk um, for sponsoring today's. Um, Money match, uh, but obviously claiming free ball. The uh, website is there on screen for you. As we go into the ready money round, I haven't really got into that point in my life where I'm having to worry about boilers and boilers and whatever else. No, you're, not, you're not thinking about boilers when you're having your chocolate foot cake like a 12 year old pal. But some people might have boiler issues, so rileyheat.co.uk for all your boiling issues. And thank you for sponsoring the game. We are having a little bit of a break. Let me stick my head up. 
Are they having a break? I don't know, I'm just looking for a... Uh, they must have done. No, yeah, well, well, on that note. Yeah, well, there's... Sorry, there's uh, no one in the arena. It feels like we had a, a break two minutes ago, doesn't it? It How many frames ago was it? That's what. saying that these breaks are so quick. I suppose though, this is the thing when you don't set an actual X amount of frames to have a break and you just say as and when, then you know, you're gonna have these points. And there we go. So that was that for a quick break. I think George was just getting a drink. I'll pop into Lou. So we're straight back on. The score, it's within two. And off we go. I don't know. Everything's, uh, everything's all right. I think. Oh, Pe people have been messaging me saying everything's all right. Oh, cool. All right, then. Let's, uh, uh -huh. let's carry on watching this... Uh, this cork and pull match scores uh, 2018 George. George at the table. Um, I think that's been an interesting thing, the, uh, the break tonight, Sam. But dinner, summer, I think sometimes when it doesn't maybe break this, break this, reverse this, and all that, it makes for a good game, doesn't it? You know, it's uh, we've got to develop stuff on that. Well, yeah, it, it will do. Um, that was a nice little pot. You know, you look at the early stages, we had a few tactical frames and breaks just weren't separating as nicely as what you sometimes see on TV and other places. It creates a different aspect to the game. Obviously, we all love break dishes, we all love reverse dishes. But sometimes a battle of chess just keeps everyone on the toes and separates the best from the rest, really. Oh, oh, the men from the boys. Something like that. Well, that was an interesting one. And you can there. Uh, I've got six, but there's one that'd be mental, that wouldn't it? When we think at one point we was then. Um, you are a bit further away now from the mic. Yeah, I remember saying when we got to six, seven. Yeah. And then this could be one. I might go and get some fudge cakes on. <laughs> <laughs> fudge cake to sell. <laughs> But equally as well, and I think I need to mention it, George is an experienced money match player, you know, he's um And you watch, he'll, he'll push the frust, frust the banners and he'll just fly off again, you know? It's needed. Yeah, it has its moments, doesn't it?
an interesting table is this one. Interesting table with um, balls blocking balls, covering bags, etc. Gonna make it an interesting frame. There's one local Bridlington player that would absolutely adore this frame, and that's Chris Davies. Hello, Chris Davies. I don't know who budges like Chris Round here, so no, it doesn't have to be Chris Davies. Simon Evans from I, Hull. I was just saying, Sam, Simon Evans, um, nickname is actually the Fudge, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. He's definitely someone that you wouldn't want to get in a game of chess with. <laughs> he might be not good at chess, who knows? Two different games. Here we go. Attacking and shot to it, develop everything. Oh, he just needed that red to, uh, sorry, that yellow to hit the red and then it had been. Uh, but is the skilly there? Look how close they are. Can, can you get that straight line where the line? Um, the only thing that I can think here is you play top right. And then go across in the top left or the right. And then go top left, just point through. What is it? actually part of the one of it. It's not George. Well, it's part of the wrong one. Sometimes you've got to be innovative on that dance floor. Look at that. Oh, that's a look at that. You can't park there, sir. Now what? Just a bit unlucky. <laughs> just a bit unlucky. <laughs> yeah, watch this, they'll do some of that. Oh, you could see it. Go on, lad. What? How? How? Here we've got a massive skill shot coming up. Fortune favours the brave bit. Watch this, three cushions in a round. Yeah, right. What's that one? Let's see what he's seeing here. Push him first up, then up no, the red. No, he's thinking... Um, Flick it off that red. Yeah, he's playing half, probably half ball here. Under the, underneath the other red. You know, you come in half ball off the red that's near the L on the claim your free biogram. And then it'll come underneath the other red. Well, it'd be one of my favourite shots of the evening if this goes. To the billiard boys that are watching this, that uh, not listening to out of 10, I'd imagine. Anyway, here we go. George to perform it. Oh, he's just gone straight at it. Thank you, George. Well, I had my line ready and waiting then, but looks like I'm not using it. Oh, well. You what? You what? On to the next. You got your line ready? Yeah. Does that black uh, go past that red or does that red block the... Uh, where, where, block the where are we looking at, sorry? Just underneath it. Oh, does black still go, but yeah? Yeah, the black yeah, goes. Yeah, yeah. Go Try and attack it out here. You have to. Oh, it pulls an attacking game, innit? You simply have to. Ooh. That's a nice little drift down, is it? Might just have to tap the black or something, because uh, I think you're coming that way. No. You, you spin back across the cushion and come across. Yeah, yeah. Screw into it. Yeah. Not too hard, but just like a drag. Yeah. That is. And you can feel the room pick up again. And get ready for it. And that puts Tom within one, but George still leads by 20 frames to 19. Well, we said at the start, we thought it was going to be tight. You know what's quite funny though, Sam? We're sat there thinking, well, yeah, it's the closest it's ever been. But in theory, it's still first to 10, which is still a bit of distance in itself. Yes, 
you're right. Um, yeah, yeah, you're right. Thank you. It's a rest of ten. Thank you. It's just. Uh, I feel I could do maths now. Too, yeah. but... <laughs> it's just. There we go. Where's that white drifting to? Two, four, six, seven. Two, four, six, yeah, it's... Uh... What? what are you laughing at? Just you, then. You were just counting the balls. Shut up. Shut up, man. Let's just watch this, yeah? Let's just watch it. Getting the mix taken on by someone eating fudge cake on a Saturday night, like a 12 year old. Anyway, Tom's in first day, gone red. Looks like, does that have one go to middle? I'll have a look in a minute, let me move this out of there. That goes to middle. Can maybe drift down. I think the, the bottom one near the yellow looks a bit tight for stuff, but like I said all night, these are players who can just develop. You look at that pace to middle, it's just good pull. Just good pull. And he's got an angle now just to, to bring himself down to the bottom half of the trip table, that transition. And this will be an interesting one, middle. And he might see if he can just nudge that yellow, which is closest to that red. Oh, he's just missed that thing. Yeah, he missed it. Ouch. And that's just that container, trying to contain George with that shot. Um, just notice on the clock, we're now four hours into the match. Four hours into the match. Um, it's tight. It's tight. That's a good shot. That's a good shot. It's... It's... It's starting to get a bit hot in here. Oh, it's about time, isn't it? It's, uh, it, we, we knew we'd get to this point of the game four hours in. It's 20 took, all, look, and the atmosphere grows. It's took four hours, it's took 20 all. Hey, it, it's good that it's happening now. It's took We're 45 in for a long frames, one. 20 all. Sherman's is starting to, uh, to bubble. Anyway, let's see how Tom's break goes. It's 20 apiece. I want to say game on, but it's the wrong spot, isn't it? Let's go for it. Game on. Still works. It's a game. There we go. Red in middle. Where's that black? Yeah, we're all right. Tell you something, you're going reds. You're going reds. Yeah. All day long, aren't you? But it is now just a clear first to ten, and Tom has missed that, which uh, will allow George to come in there, have a little uh, look around, and see what's going down. I think George will know uh, get some uh, get some of his own momentum going now. I think after the six ahead. And watching, you, watch, watching your uh, opponent come and sneak back on you. 
He'll, he'll want to uh, get his uh, get his own merger going in this game. Is a bit of a roll there. However, I can't see the gap at the top of uh, at the top of that yellow, but um, I think that definitely covers the uh, the black. Oh, and that might not be the uh, the best shot that goes into the middle. The issue with ball here is the, um, the yellow at the middle of the top. Good shot. I was going to do the roll on, but I'm still thinking what are you going to do with that yellow at the top? Try to do it, so the black gateway to put the yellow in there. And so, no one thinking does that red go past the, that yellow? The yellow goes past, goes past, past that red top Pardon? right. The yellow goes past that red top right, yes. So, fantastic. Just you had to use the cushion, yeah, but it's all right, that happening. But I need getting on the red, uh, sorry, the yellow. Yeah, but I might get a black. cushion first, yeah. hit the red and go in and move the red out of the way. Yeah, it moves the red, but what about the yellow? Well, I'm going to put my other yellow into the same pocket. How are you? Watch this. Watch this. Go on. That rattled its uh, feet, that, didn't it? Wiped its feet on the way and then... See from this one now. I'll have to see where he will have to look his sleeve nerd out. Let's see what he does here. He's going for a cut back. Oh. Hang oh. on, hang on. Oh, well, I'll try. See what Tom does here. Are you going to go downtown and uh, smash one? I need a good pot. Good pot. Steady away a plant. These are all relative dot to dots now. Still got a dot on there. Still got a dot on. Hang on, hang on. Nah. Oh, he's round, he's round, he's round. Yeah. 
and it's back to take the lead for the first time in the game. Yeah! And you can feel it ramping up here in there. Sherman's in scum four as the local man takes the lead for the first time. 21 frames to 20 against the George Cerny. That's a huge frame. Huge. Huge. Forget the score, just forget. Men well, kind of. You can't forget the score. No, no, but mentality wise, I don't know. It's, uh, it's a turning point, is that now? An absolute turning point. An absolute turning point. However, will George get a second win? Um, I guess he'll just have to wait, watch, and see. Well, what he does need there. Uh, he struggled with a break tonight, um, which has left him frustrated, shaking heads and that. Um, what he'd give now to have that break where you just smash him, get your ball, and see you. The only way, a perfect reply here for George would be a break dish. A break dish, perfect reply. Won it, won it, won it. Let's have a look. Black's gone in, so we've got three back here. And it was a nice break as well, which uh, just adds... Insult to injury. I'll tell you what it has been. It's been an enjoyable game, hasn't it? And like I say, we've still got a possible 19 frames left. Yeah, that's mad to think. Not to think. I do think George is going to get a second win there. But I guess I'll have to wait and see. You got some action oh. in that one. Oh. He yeah, got right. some absolute right action on that cue ball. And it's gone down the middle pocket like a rat down a drain pipe. Tom's at the table. 21 20, race to 30 for 41 grand. 41k, wow. Where's the cue ball for Tom though? Oh! I tell you, well, this is going to happen, mate. This is going to happen when you're playing for £41,000. This wow, is going to happen. That's a lack of concentration there, if there ever has been one. Not tonight. It's going to happen. Let's see how George addresses this table now. It does look hot out there, doesn't it? Well, it's hot enough here, never mind out there. There's everything going off. It's These yellows now look very, very nice. That's it, developed the hard one, hasn't he? I think he'll take his time, be methodical in his approach. Just make sure, make sure. The flow will come. It's feet a little did that hit both foot jaws. Hey, look, just want to make sure now, just to uh, just put a stop to uh, what's been happening maybe the last eight nine frames where. Let's have a look at these red how How's it looking?
see what I was going to do with this run. Good to be having some of them frames where that container in it, you know, but I don't really want to. I just want to make sure now. Oh, no. We're just going to uh, screw back a little bit. It'll allow where his cue is now. We'll just see back to that line. There we go. That looks good. Do you want a piece? Ah, it certainly is. <laughs> Tom to break, let's see if uh, he gets out down. Dry to me. Yeah, on two dry and uh, two past it, seven. <laughs> George, to the table. So his lead lasted the one frame only. Tons. And it took a long time to get there. George looking at his options, options here. It might obviously get a bit of momentum going after winning that last frame. Gone for red there. That's with the red look all right here.
push that through. Sat there looking, thinking, does he cut middle? It looks like it does, it does. Comfortably, comfortably. And now he's at the top end of the table. Three reds and a black to go back to back frames for George for the first time in a while. I'm thinking, how do I take these out? That methodical approach. for the first one. Yeah. I'm just looking if I can get that one. Sneak past that yellow, get the red to top. Where am I putting my last red? Good shot. So that's good. Just roll his black in to get his lead back. And he has done. Good lad, George. Ooh, 22, 21. It's getting sweet for bum time. Everyone. It's all right, though, isn't it? It's, it, it you know what? It's it, it's swinging both ways. It's ebbing and flowing. It's yeah. uh, it's making it a fantastic watch. Yeah. If we can get Amber, Amber and Tom for the next what seventeen frames, what a sat what a sat the evening. Paul, get, gave a pull, added to the fact for forty one thousand pounds. Yeah, definitely. It's uh, it's been a cracking match. All this part we're getting down to the nitty gritty of it all. True bottle of nerves start showing now. But equally, uh, like I said, I know Tom's uh, background is probably as much as what you do, Sam. But I know George, I've watched him for a long time, experienced money match player. Uh, while some people might get to the last stage of a money match and be a little bit at sixes and sevens. I think the experience George has got to keep him there. But we'll see. Again, just being methodical, it's working out its path, the route, how I want to go about doing this. Don't need to rush. At this stage of the match, you don't be kicking yourself thinking, I got down it too quick and I uh, snatched it or whatever. A good shot, George.
Taking the time again, just wants to be shot. Yeah, just certainly some thought getting taken behind this shot. Adam? There's certainly some thought being uh, just trying to get that lever, that foot, foot, foot in the door after the being off the pace for a few trade. Now we're only take your time, just sure on what you do. Yeah, there is that, yeah. You're very right. Do, 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 do. Down that bottom one. Yeah, for the one nearest to him, that's the one. He's done so well since uh, Tom came back and took the BT slowed it down. He's just making sure. Yeah. Yeah, he certainly just changed his pace in the. Uh... Just get my dominance back in the game, what I had. I just need to just be a bit more methodical, a bit more. I look at that. Be nice. And it has been. Shot George. He took his abs up. <laughs> Been nice, and that's uh, fortunate. Which George will probably, well, may not admit, but he wow. definitely understands that he's had his fair few goals in this match, and that's another one to the counter. It is, but he uh, leads like... 23 21, and the end of the day, it happens. It happens, and that's what the game's all about. It's going to be 21 20 down, and then just come out with a couple of frames on the spin just to, hey. I'm here. I'm yeah, still yeah. here. I'm well, not here. I've got this to yeah. I'm, well, I might even make a little burst for the finishing line now. Yeah, I'm feeling good. It takes a lot, does that, at this point, I think, still. Well, he's just won the last three, pal. Yeah, that's cool. might be make it. We might be witnessing the dash. That's free of the spin. That's a good smash. But look at the white. White's just got a re-rack. The white went in and then the black went in to give uh, Tom the re-rack. So to a certain degree, the, uh, the black just going in, save Tom a little bit there. Seeing the white go in, but uh, here we go, the re-rack. Uh, we're praying for a ball at this point. Oh, and that's an open table. Break was dry. George is back at the table. George is opted for yellow. Just moving that red away a little bit as well. Good shot by George. You're having a good single on being now, aren't you? Stop. 
St. John's. This is the big shot, Phil. Ah, they smashed it. Ah, that shot, George. Yeah, you can't do anything about that other than that. Great pot, great position. Friends there for the tacking now. 100% is Sam. And that'd make it far on the spin. How are we seeing the dash? Witnessing it. Well, yeah. it, it, did it, at, it did it at the start, didn't it? Yeah, but do it at the start. I'd rather do it at the end than at the start. Oh, yeah, 100%. Just trying to work out the uh, best way to take these. I can just get feel that white as much control as possible, so it's going middle first there by looks of it. Swing it round. I like so a bit too much, maybe bounce. And he's had a good bounce there, so now I just need to think where do I want to put this black? The nurse is going to be swinging off the oh. top, of course. Shots. He's putting a load of check on this. Oh, oh yeah, he's there. Uh, oh. Oh, right. he, he won't be complaining with that. No, definitely not. Cost this to have won the last four. And there she goes. There she goes. George is now six away from the finishing line. After winning the last four. Just trying to uh, just have a little look over, see what the uh, and, and, and the room seems a little bit quiet again now. I think uh, the crowd really did get some wind in the sails. It was uh, it was a Saturday night vibe. The uh, Sherman's was rocking. However, by them winning them four frames, it just, it just kept the, the crowd a little bit quiet there. Well, yeah, it's going to, you know, the home players. Oh, Paul are struggling to keep anything now. George is just carrying on the momentum. Six away, as you say. Out to sound to crowd, win four on the spin. That's all you just have to do. Say all you just have to do. It is what you have to do. 100%. Got it well. However, it over till the fat lady sings. And there's still some life left in this game. Off we go. And another. Is that four tonight now? Another re rack. Ultimate pull. It's four frames that for someone winning it. You know, it's. Uh, Yeah, no, it is. I'm just saying. I'm just Imagine. saying. I think that would be brutal. What? Both, both ways, you know, golden break, golden duck, whatever. It's just a brutal format. I just can't see it. Uh, you, know, you know, sir, I remember what, I can't remember what I was watching, but uh, I think it was just for Rockland. He started proper doing a jiggity jig jig when the black went in and he won the frame. It's like most people stick their hand up and say, oh, sorry about that, pal. He proper give it the large one. I was like, uh, unique. I think. You know, because he, he, 
there is ways you can obviously highly uh, put your percentages up in terms of potting black off break. Yeah, cut breaks, so the power's break going into the happens. side. Yeah, there's certain head on breaks that work well as well. You know, you've got a lot of Americans that have been trying it. Because obviously, if there's anyone to ask about rack patterns and how to break a certain way, it's usually the Yanks that do it well. And Anyway, George to break. Let's see if we can get one uh, off this break. Oh, that's quite often what happens after it. You go dry and, um, well, is yeah, dry? Cluster. yeah, it's dry. Yeah, you're counting. It's dry. Come on. Yeah, so I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna slag you off. There. There. You'll get there. I'm not slagging you off, sir. I'm not gonna there. lower my standard. I'll be with you. <laughs> you're twelve and a half hours. I'm you'll, not lowering my standard. Pal. You'll, you'll get there one day, mate. Why not watch him lug all your stuff to the car at the end of the night, mate? On your own. Just... Anyway, let's watch this, mate, because this is the ready money round. Tom really could do with this frame. Yeah, it really could do with this frame. Oh, and it's sat there on the lip again. A couple of overhung that pocket, haven't they? Yeah. Okay, if George was to get this one and make it five on the spin, um, yeah, that song by Busted slipping through my fingers pops into my head. I'm not going to start singing it. But anyway, let's just see. Let's just see. say about George in the last few frames and I've said it to you before the pace of his game has massively slowed down he's become a, a lot more purposefulness you know I'm not rushing I'm thinking no wasted shots at all However, Tom did come back from Amadou Biano's yet. The peak was at seven. Oh, sorry. When, when Tom was at his fairest point behind, was it seven? Yeah, seven. And he came back to lead by one, sir. So, so not over yet, but let's just there. Uh, see how it goes. I think George there just moving the, uh, the, uh, the, uh, the, uh, the, uh, the lock pocket. Just don't mean it's okay for Tom to pop because, uh, no yellows near there anymore. Don't mind that shot, Tom. Don't mind that shot. And that was very clean. I like that. Very clean. Is he on this one to bottom? Got a little bit too far there, didn't he? I think he might have done a good shot there, though. Has he? Oh, that one's a middle go. Uh... Taking that top one, swinging around a little bit. I don't see what the benefit from doing that. You just move this red into free play. Uh, it's kind of a free shot, really. Seeing open play. George ain't going to do much from here, I don't think. So. Could you cut that ball to the middle back? Put the um, one back. No, I don't think you can. Obviously, Tom had wished he didn't really bring the red 
too far out of that pocket. Just create a big bag if he does find a pot in this one. Oh, good, good shot, George. Man. Good shot. Good shot. He's got the bit between his teeth, hasn't he? Now that just really opens his frame up massively. One shot. Yeah. Yeah. Now he's dropping this yellow left hand yellow into the middle. Oh, oh. Oh. It took me out of that shot before, hasn't it? Yeah, yeah, and, um, it's still obviously not an easy yellow into the middle. Red wires here. Well, I don't think that goes top left, so you're playing this one at the top right in, swinging round, using the big red pocket to your advantage, really. That's how it goes. Yeah, there you go. This is a nice angle you steady just creates it, because this red's going to get, if it does it, it's going to get nudged away, so you're sending the wide with it. That's nice, so that's playing. nice. The question is, the black ball, she doesn't go top left. So, do you play it for top right, play it off this rail and not into that yellow that's at left hand bag? Or... So got some risk attached to it there, Sam, hasn't it? Everything's got some risk attached to it here, I think, at this point. Or do you go two cushions and play for it black into the middle, into the left middle? He's, He's gone for it. Is that, was the risk with it. that was the risk with it, was uh, middle oh. bag either going in or you... You're coming no, off it's that sticking out. No, I don't think I don't think. There's no pointing angle there, I don't think. Um, yeah, you, I don't, I don't if you've got a touch on it, you may as well just have a bash. Just try I and get a good connection. Is, uh, I think a little, little snip that you can get here. Oh, he's coming off rail instead. And it's in. Oh! <laughs> I tell you, it's been quiet for the last half an hour. It's nice to hear that cheer back again. Tom really needed that frame as well. And the chanting started. You give it. You give it its chance. Well, it, but he needed that frame as well, I felt. He needed it. Yeah. 100%. But, you know, it's one that me. I don't think George will look at that any different. Obviously, the yellow into the middle was tough, but hey, there's still a lot of work here for Tom to do. I don't know if he's just gone for a cigarette yeah, I've just, break. I've just seen George pop out for fresh air. All oh, right, well, it's a sick break. Yeah. All right, we'll be back in two minutes as we uh, as we, we reach the uh, the climax, the finale, the um, the big shebang. Just the hundred meter sprint of That's this forty-one thousand pound pull match. Speak to you all soon.
and we're straight back in. These jabbers look all right, look good. Taking his time, working out. Top left one, I don't know if that red just makes it a little bit hampered. We're going to find out. Twenty-four, twenty-two. And these yellows look nice as well. Where's the third? Eh? The yellows are in play or about to be in play. Certainly in play now. Um, So yeah, pace is important here because obviously it's going to be moving up a little bit, is it? No, well played, George. Carrying on moving that, carrying on moving. A little nudge might have helped him. Quite look like him nearly being touched. A little nudge. That was the one, but I knew we were going to play it faster. Chance that Tom probably didn't think he was going to get. Certainly not. And uh, well, here you go, a chance to take it. Go within one. All being well, wow. Tom. This 
one and just come down. Bring himself back, back to well, within one. A big mistake from George. It was certainly an unforced error. It's back to one. We are on from Shaman's in Scunthorpe. Home of Lincolnshire Black Ball County team. I'm, I'm, I'm not even going to continue with like the usual script. So I'm sick of saying I did the R. So yeah, we'll, we'll leave it there. We'll leave it there. If it's been a long one, we'll leave it there. You've had enough compliments of me for today. Uh, anyway, it's George to break. It's 24 23 to George in a race. Just hurty. What, what he would love now just to get that perfect break. No, I don't think. Tom will be wishing for that. However, it's gone dry. And them reds look very, very well. A little shaky head there by George, who's got fair off screen. That's looking uh, lovely. Um, so just a way he takes them now. But they are there to be taken. She rubs again. It is now a race to six for forty-one k. <laughs> race to six. I tell you, first money match I've commentated on, <laughs> and oh, what a game to get! Oh, what a, a game to get! Been a cracker. Yeah, that one. It's been a cracker. He's not over yet. Still, a long hey, first to way. six, mate. First yeah, to yeah. six. Yeah, still a long way to go in this old game. And uh, well, a yellow's oh, found yeah, yellow's gone. And oh, oh, in it. Reds, simple because you've got two of the reds that you can help bring out the. Oh, actually. Yeah, I was just about, yeah, I was just going to call that. But it's so unlucky with yellow holding. A bit of frustration, you can see yeah, it from Tom there. Yeah, a bit of frustration. Right, 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 Moves he got here just to uh, pop the white across, maybe.
A little bit harsh, that. Chance for it, skill shot. Full blooded, all out with you. Nowhere to hide on these turbos. And. Oh. No. Just caught it to the right. That's a good light. So you can go middle, and then your one goes nicely down into the bottom left. And again, just taking his time, just making sure. down now. Tom jumps out of his chair and he was out of his chair in a flash. He's gone for the double. Oh, that was brutal. <laughs> if it's not an iron ball table, he's gone for the double. And then, um, well, there's anything to take. Oh. And that's an hard one to take for George, is that? That's an hard hey. one to take. All things said, it's a gimme black. It's a gimme black, and he's lost he, focus. And obviously, Tom takes that one frame lead now, 25 24. At the point that it counts massively. Wow. It's woken everybody up in here, in this building. Never saw that one coming, never saw that coming. It's woken Harry Bow up in his pit in Hull. It, it, it's a sofa fit, I'm not taking my cartridge down. It's, um, it's quite nice actually. Spot on what he's done with his house, fair play a lot. Anyway, 25 24 to Tom Barley, George Tierney to break in a race of 30. Really don't want to go dry now, really don't want to be dry. No, he just needs to pop. Oh, and I'll just see one fly yeah, yellow into, middle. into middle. And um, well, mm -hmm. he's got a plan. He's got a plan on the yellows. And then yellows look all right. That transition down. Yeah. Four at the bottom look all right. Yeah. Sorry. I tell you, a good way to forget that last frame is to win this one. So let's see 
Let's see if we can get this. Let's get this one right. <laughs> Which is nailed, I believe, yep. Harry Bowes has sent me a message saying he jumped out of his pit, actually. <laughs> In fact, he's sent me a bit, I'll show you. He, he's Like literally a pit full of sleeping bags, yeah. not sleeping, uh, bean bags, bean bags, everything. It's class. It's absolutely class. It's the ultimate like just relaxation thing. And obviously, he's got it from all these lodge breaks that he goes on <laughs> and everything. He's he's found the inner in a, in a sense yeah. to relaxation. And uh, yeah, oh well, George here on yours and a transition down to the bottom of the table and. Well, at least he's comfy watching the uh, the climax <laughs> of this well, game. You know? It is comfy. I don't know about comfy, but he's, he's trying to be as comfy as possible. That is a fact. He went over to Dublin to watch Tom Barley play in this first leg. He couldn't make it here because... Uh, is it his pit? <laughs> it's in his pit. Right, so he's in. He's in at this bottom end of the table now. Like I said, what a way to forget that black in the last frame by winning this frame. You know what I'm looking forward to, Sam? Seeing 41k on notes on the table. Will that happen? Yeah. Is it too big? Nah, I think someone won it. It, it, it just, yeah, it'd be summit, but uh, <laughs> that would be summit. <laughs> where's the table gone? <laughs> yeah, yeah, where, where's it all gone? Anyway, like I said, just taking his time again, just composing. And you can understand why after that last frame, you know, just want to make sure. Looks like he's going uh, top left with his uh, this Yeah, yellow. it's a massive bag, really. You've got no. Well, it's massive, but he's still got to put the ball in it. Yeah. And we saw the black in the last room, so let's see let's how he does. Well, the problem there is he just didn't hit the red. It's as simple as that. He just played to use the red and just not hit it. Well, let's just see how Tom does, because obviously. Um, so. Where are you hiding this white ball? <laughs> I think you... I don't know. I don't know about hiding it personally, but you've got to do something along them lines unless you create the angle. What for your skill, eh? Uh... Well, kind of. Yeah, 100%. 100%. And everyone in this room now is just so focused on this table. We knew it would come. Five hours in, and it's here. It, it's, yeah, and it deserves it. Yeah, it does. It really does. It's a match that deserves it. There we go. That was the right shot, but where's, where's the cue ball? Right? Where's the cue ball going? And, uh, well, far, far away. Tom Barley at the table. I thought he was going to go into song then. <laughs> Free visit, just clearing up that yellow. So just picking these off, like you said, them dot to dots. Mm 
Just thinking which way to go. Do I go the left way or the right way? He's still thinking. Towards his wife on the bar. Oh, he's come up. Yeah, a little bit of a stretch. I think he uh, underestimated how much he needed to stretch there. And that's. Oh, it's good. It's good. It's the only problem when you start stretching. It's how quick it comes back up up to you. But anyway, he should be fine here. And I tell you something. Two lead, first time. Biggest lead he's had in the match. And what a time to get it, Sam. What a time to get it. Leads by two. Needing four. Will George have another like he did when he got to 20, where he went and won four on the spin? And I've just seen George going uh, out the door there, so. Obviously, maybe a couple of minutes until he's back. But these last few frames, Tom has been uh, spot on. He's, uh, he's took his opportunity. Obviously, that, 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 that miss block by George, Tom still had to come and take him out after that. You know, it's... Um, and he's done, he's, he couldn't have done any better, you know, as he leads now 26 24. It feels like we're just coming on that final bend onto a home straight. Tom needing four, George needing six. What I will say, Sam is obviously, yeah, uh, when we commentate on the football of each other, that lasts 90 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> but if this were a football, would have packed up, gone home by now. <laughs> hey, but I tell you, what drama for a Saturday evening! What drama! It's been good on it. It's been and good. What drama! And like I said, I think there's another twist in the tail. Yeah, I don't, I don't think we're done. The game might been like that. Just wait for George to return from his fresh air. And his ear. And the real number one just walked back into the building. I'd like to say we go down this home straight now. 26 24 to Tom. George is back in the arena and off we go again. It's been a lot of dry breath, but I think that's added to the drama as well. Yeah, it always does, doesn't it? Ooh, it's gone a bit quiet now. It just suddenly just dropped, hasn't it? Tension, mate, that's what it is. Tension. Ah. Tension. It's just dropped. We need, to, we need to get a razor back on the jukebox, don't we? Has that got the legs? Has it? Has it? Oh! That is literally hanging over that middle bag. Oh, that wiped its feet as well. So Tom back in the driving seat in this frame. He'll be feeling good the way he's, uh, he's played in these last few frames. Now, like I 
like I said, the, the room is probably the quietest it's been in the past couple of hours as uh, I think people are feeling that tension in the air as the finishing line gets close. Putting this into the middle. onto this last red. Does that go? I'm just trying to look at another angle. It must do, it must do. Tom's walking on air at the moment, it's feeling good. It's feeling good. 27, 24 to Tom. to stay with us all this time five and a quarter hours we're in for a treat i think in this next half hour 45 minutes it's great today just one too many times dry. And that straight away gives uh, the momentum, the impetus to, uh, to Tom as he can, uh, can have fair stibs at this frame. Oh, 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 oh. And fine margins. Working his path out. Has he gone too far there? Is that all right? It's all right. It's straight down. Yeah, on it. right. Straight no, down on it. Ooh, it just wanted off. to nudge. Just wanted to nudge. Bit of work now. He just wanted to uh, really just nudge it to middle ish. Rush of blood. What a time to have a rush of blood. I'm just accepting the double or? I've said to him, what's on black? Yeah. Yeah, I'm just accepting the double. Yeah. 
the house will come down if this double goes in. Oh, the tension. Wow. Wow. The tension from these shots. Absolutely. Everything was there for it to go in. It was. It the was. Big, now these are played big, these pockets, and uh, no, just not quite gone. A anyway, chance for Georgia to just stop it. I always say uh, they might look like dollies and look, might look like gimmies, but at this stage yeah. of this game, so with the black up. where it is, these are Anybody. not gimmies. That's keeping cool. Remember that black from a few frames? That's keeping cool. Making sure. Well, the centre middle obviously wants the white away from the cushion. Well done. And his little tap in black to bring himself to a win two. <laughs> yeah, I think personally this has got decided written all over it. It has, hasn't it? It has. We're going deep. Very deep. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So then, big break. So George will be knowing he needs to just take these opportunities when he gets them fair dibs. A bit right at 27, 25, you know, I just for some reason he board went a bit dodgy. Oh. It's 27, 25, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So I ended up putting like 58 in or something. Is it? These are the issues I should with on pull tables, that, that massive big stretch here in these situations. I was never great with height. I got looks instead. Something I can share with you instead. Yeah, but you never got the looks like I did there, did you, Sam? I just got the brains instead. <laughs> Anyhow, back to this there. Uh, the quietest it's been for a long time in the actual there. It, it's gone quiet. It's, it's more mumbly mumbly rather than cheery. Yeah, it's just chatty at the minute. It's just a chatty environment. There comes George coming away because he don't want to that big lean of her. He missed it. He missed it. He missed it. He missed it. I missed it. Everyone missed it. takes these reds and each red has a pocket then it'll become two away from a lovely pair there what I would say I think since George won that fall on the spin Tom's now won six of the last seven and he's looked very 
comfortable out there. Is that gap there? Yeah, it is there. It's just very, very tight. Yeah, yeah, fine. Is he on that? Yeah. Yes. This black to go two away. Yeah! <laughs> and that makes us 28, 25 in favor of Tom Barley. Heard that saying in pull that as we come down the home straight, that so you can try and keep your opponent off the hill, it's always a good thing. George now will be wanting to have a little bit of a streak like he did there uh, when he won four on the spin before. You could do something very well, similar now. He needs it. You don't want to see Tom get into one away, not he done. Probably one of the better breaks. Them two reds below the black is what's causing the headache. And for that reason, George has switched to yellows there. See where he goes with this next one. Oh, and that's a good shot, is there? That is a good shot by George. That. Keep Tom off the hill. All right. I think he would want to use that there. Uh, will he use that yellow down the rail now or? Doing that, taking it now. Yeah. 
two big pots down to film within two of Tom but he has to make them there's one this looks like a simple one but we've been here before <laughs> just about right isn't it? seems simple can you make it simple yeah and there we go he's back within two 28 26 in favor of Tom game on game on Tom would love to get one off this break now and be able to see a, a run out, but let's have a little look. So a yellow drop there. Look for it to go on the hill. Say so what, Sam? To go on the hill, you'd want anything, wouldn't you? Just let, me run, yeah, let me just have a run out in it, really. You know, um, ABC Paul. Them reds look good. These are the time they just think you just cue well. <laughs> Make sure. <laughs> we decide we've got which way he wants to go away. Does he go middle or does he go to the bottom? Middle, bottom, middle, bottom, and then the black to be one away. And so we roll this down and we automatically on the uh, on the black to middle, and this to be on the hill. That wasn't as uh, easy as it, well, the fact of how it hit the jaw didn't seem as easy as it looked. Wow, well, what can I say? 29, 26, Tom needs one more for 41k. Has George hill. got uh, any answer? He's on the hill, he's on the hill. Has George got any answer? Again, he's not happy. I think all the way through this game, his hair has been conscious about the wrap, the balls. Just double checking everything's touching there. No, I'm not happy. At the start of the game, he was breaking from, as you look at the table, the right hand side, switch to the left hand side. Let's have a look at it. I think we'll be doing left as we look at the table. Oh, that's a big break. Well, that is it, probably his best one of the night. He's connected well with that. Oh, well. You're looking at 
favourites. Probably the best break of the evening. And what a time to come up with it. Reds it is. It is Reds. Right, right with so on that one. Absolutely right with so. That's it, just picking them off, picking it, take the time. Such a huge, huge frame. Well, any frame at this point. Well, no, it is. It's huge, man. You make a mistake. <laughs> You lose. Yeah, that's it. You make a mistake. That's, that's all at you breaks now, isn't it? At this point, it's. Uh, and you watch someone get 40, 41 thousand pounds. It, it's the brutal just... side to it. Uh, it everyone's side of it, not it? playing now around the arena. Oh, in five and a half hours to get to this. Uh... Yeah, yeah, five and a half hours it's been. Five and a half hours. Of absolute quality of pool. I'll tell you something. It's hard to get me to sit down and watch five and a half hours of pool nowadays. My first time, Adam. <laughs> <laughs> Pop my cherry in there, uh, commentating money about the pole, but I'll tell you some of what I gave to uh, to do for my first time. He's checked it off, he's checked it off, and that's right. an absolutely right. stunning shot. It's all right. You know, I'm feeling a bit nervous here, Sam. You know? And this just to, to keep it ticking over, ticking over. But and he'll breathe a great sigh of relief with that black going in as he comes back in now. 29, 27 to Tom. And this bit's the only lead that Tom's had through the whole night. Yeah. To yeah. have it. To have it at this stage, it's Mental, really. Yeah, but in the early 20s, when George went and uh, won four on the spin, yeah, yeah, it's been it 24 21 up. And then, to be honest, from that moment on, I think I had uh, Tom winning seven out of the next eight to be in a situation where it's kind of yeah. like. Absolutely huge. And he's potted. Wow. He's potted. Just on this tune of Sweet Caroline going off in the background. You know what? I was thinking exactly it. the same. Sweet Caroline. However, I'm just looking at these yellows thinking, can he reach the. Five more balls. 41 I would be having squeaky bum moments at this point. Working out his route, working out his options. Wants to be 100% sure when he's on that queue. Half expected some of the crowd to be going there, but no, none of the front row ticket holders have got anything. To... I think they're all just there. Uh, waiting for this frame just to tick out. Oh, Here we go, this, this yellow. Oh, George knows that he's there. Uh, he's maybe out of his hands at this point. Here we go. He knows. This takes some doing, does this one? Top right, he'll be going. Not so the nicest of angles. It's not, it's not. But, but you, you just know, run it through. You know you're going to be on the black. Awkward queuing. Awkward queuing. 
You know you're going to be on the block. Yeah, yeah, you're going to be on the block, boys. It's yeah, just this big real. pot. This is the pot. And he knows. He knows. He knows. For 41,000 pounds, this black. Here we go. He is 41,000 pounds better off. What a game. Well, final score. Tom Bowley, 30. George Taney, 27. What a five and a half hours. Cheers for Red. Bring I'll, me on the journey. On. I'll, I'll, I'll just let everyone else know. This morning at about half past eight, Kev sent me a message saying I'll have to do all the talking. He just took the last line off there. Fair play, you were into it. Congrats, Tom Barley. We'll get him on uh, comms just to have a little chat in a minute. See, uh, see how it all goes with everyone else first. I'm sure he's got his friends and family. George is just having a few handshakes with everyone. I tell you so, when he won them four to go from uh, 21 20 down to 24 21, he must have thought, do you know what? I'm coming strong at the right time here. I'm flowing. I'm feeling good. And then respect, and I say respect to Tom. He, he, he bit down on his gum shield. He dug deep and he produced some great pull in the last seven, eight, nine frames of that game. Well done. That's all you can say. Well done. I wouldn't have been able to do it. I'm just watching there. Uh, As Mr. Tony leaves the building. As Mr. Tony leaves the building. Um, and he's back in the building. He's back. He's, he's back. He's forgot something. He's back. What a game of four. What a game. Right, I'm just going to try and grab Mr. Barler. I'm sure gonna, Harry Bob will want to listen to him. We're going to see if we can get in front of the camera, are we? Uh, so Sam's just going to go for a little one then. I'll see if he can get the winner. Tom Barley, who um, obviously still just chatting to his mates in the arena. But um, we're just going to see if we can get him. So Sam's on a little mission into the arena. And obviously... Uh, like any pool player would enjoy it as a moment, it's Tom here. Buzzing, buzzing with his mates. And there's uh, Sam just having a chat. And uh, let's just see if Tom's going to come over. I think he is. I think Sam's got the... Uh, I think Sam's got the match winner here. I bet Tom throws like 10 men. What? Are we going to be having someone joining us, Sam? I think uh, Tom's obviously he's chatting me a lot. We'll see what happens. We'll give it a few minutes. Is he going to sit here and I'll see if I can turn the camera around on there? Well, we'll just eat these over here. Like I say, he's, uh, he's entitled to spend his time with his Yeah, he certainly is. You know? Yeah. If I do, I'll record it and uh, we'll put it up. Well, actually, Cole's here. Cole, stick to him. That's it, isn't it? Just giving his missus a hug. I tell you, he's all. The last eight nine frames that he played, it was amazing. You know, from a uh, George won four on the on the spin to go from 20, 21, 20, 24, 21. And then I tell you, Tom woke up, and from that moment on, he was on point. And we've got the match winner coming to join us now. 
I'll let you do it. Yeah. Hey, we've got to give some congratulations. Hey, massive Cheers, well done, mate. Yeah, man. That last eight nine friends, mate. He was on fire. Oh, second well half, I played very well. Oh man, he was on fire. Um, so we've got Tom Barley, um, obviously victorious tonight, um, winning 33, so 27 against George Tent. Um, Tom, how do you feel about that, mate? How oh, how's your game for us, pal? Buzzing, yeah, because uh, early on, George was playing very well early on. Um, got to midway through it, and I seemed to seemed to click, and George was making a few mistakes, and I think um, I got the start back, and I played a terrible shot uh, where I got in off, off a free shot, and then he started, he got his three lead back or four lead back I managed to pull it back and uh, managed to keep the lead this time so how well did you feel because I think at one point you were seven behind how was you feeling at that point you, were you knowing that uh, your game's good and you're going to get back into this or I've never played in this type of money in this yeah. type of environment so how did that feel when you were seven down well, it's, it's hard it's a different it's a different mentality I mean you try not to let it affect you but you, you, you know deep down you've got to start off well or you're going to you're going to get pumped like I did at his place um, I mean I think he won four of the first five over at Ireland and that's nine one down and against George where we are no George is, is class in him he? I mean, he is he really is he's, yeah. uh, it's a tough ass I mean his breaks one of the biggest breaks I've, I've seen I mean he, he, I think he's gone enough once maybe to, tonight maybe once off his break uh, it's a big ass to, to get a five lead back when someone's breaking as well as that and playing as well as he was at one point I, I say to him at one point in that game he was 21 20 up and then he goes and wins the next four yeah. to make it 24 21. Yeah, well, at that think, point, where, where, where's your head out there? Yeah, that, that, that was the frame where I've, uh, he's going off off the break and I've, uh, I've played a free shot and gone in off and given, the, given it straight back. Um, I mean, three, three visits to the table, pop them up, that's two frames in front, and you, you get a bit of momentum again. But four shots like that can change the rhythm a bit, and it did. And if I lost, I'd, I'd have. I'd have had no arguments because I, I did the hard work to get back into it and threw it away with a terrible shot like that. But what I do have to say, obviously, what a way to walk down that home straight. Them eight, nine frames, walking down that home straight. It's like it's like you just grew frame after frame. Yeah. You saw the prize, you knew what you wanted, and you um, you smashed it, mate. Yeah, I mean, the, the, the crowd makes a, a massive difference. I mean, you can see it very busy. You, you're playing to where you're not thinking, really. You're playing through a, through a buzz, but through your adrenaline, which which got me through it really in the end well what, what I would say this is the first money match I've ever done first money match I've ever done so you go from minus five to the way you came on the home straight I'm hoping something about to be again yeah um, any final words um, to the no, people I, mean, I, I know a lot of people have said I can't it's a, a lot of people have said I can't win from from all over and that and they say it's a big big star but I mean I didn't, I didn't think I could do it I wouldn't, I wouldn't do it I mean my back is believe I can do it so if that's good enough for me then it's good enough for me well, what I'd say, you've been fantastic tonight. I've really enjoyed watching you play. You know what? Massive well done. And um, I hope your mates, yeah, your mates buy you around tonight. Oh, that's for, it, mate. Appreciate it. Cracking stream. Nice one. Hey, cheers, mate. Thank nice you very one. much. Look after yourself, mate. You too, pal. Cracking drop, mate. Yes. Hey, well, well played, mate. Yeah, yeah. Well played. Well, you sticking your headset back on a minute, Kat. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> and, back, I'm back. Well, oh, right, I can have my job. <laughs> you were right at home, then. Yeah. Throw you back to your Bridtown days, common, uh, interviewing in managers and players. I'll tell you, it took me back to Bridtown TV, it really did. Yeah, yeah. But, um, hey, no, I'm it's a... been a cracking match. It's been good. And, uh, hey. The atmosphere's been great. From my first ever money match to sit in commas and get that game, it had a bit of everything, didn't it, Sam? So, um... Yeah, it did. It's been good. It's been a pleasure having you here. It's been nice to have one local that's been a big, big match, you know, that's the thing. And uh, to everyone that's watching at home, thank you for obviously trusting and paying through the pay-per-view. It will be available to watch um, very soon once I've got everything sorted with the recordings and put it back up. But yeah, once again, I, I hope this isn't the last time we do one special like this. It was, it's been brilliant. It has been really and, you know, and thank you to everyone that sent messages of support for it all. It, it's one of them. It's been the first pay-per-view we've done. It's jumping into the unknown. Obviously, we've uh, now with clients all over Europe, so look, we're trusted and we're always available for bookings, whatever the sport is, whatever it is, actually. Whatever it is, just let us know. You can always contact us through various forms of media. We're always on Facebook, YouTube, X, now it's called, more Twitter, LinkedIn. But but well, just just to come in there tonight belongs to Tom Barley, doesn't it? I hope his it does. Mates, his backers are buying him a well, beer. Well, there's definitely it. one. It's uh, Harry Boy, if you're listening. Hello. 
I hope his backers are buying him a beer tonight and um, that you know some, uh, he's got a sore head in the morning because he deserves to have a sore this, head. This place will be going on long into the night now. You know, he, he looked at one point where we probably thought that we might have been packing away and it just feels on his own. But no, I think there's going to be a few of you, so you'll have that side of it to enjoy. We might not be going on just yet. I'll tell you that one, Kev. Well, so we're, just saying, get got, your, get got, your second wind. I've got, got a football match at half-dying body. Yeah, you'll be so, fine, mate. So you'll we'll be fine. See, but, but, um, yeah. hey, Sam, cheers for having me on board nice today. And I was like, last but not least, thank you to everyone that's tuned in. And whatever you do for the rest of your night, rest of your Saturday night, enjoy it. Take care. We'll see you on the next stream. Good night. Hey, take care, everyone. Bye-bye.